You getting jumped by four niggas. They like on top of you already. Pause. Pause. You're not grabbing? You ain't grabbing shit? You gay. <laughs> like, I am not grabbing shit. You are gay. I do not want a fucking handful of balls. You're weird. <laughs> this <laughs> Nah, you got... Bro, you get your ass whooped, bro. There is... Like, what is that gonna do? Or at least punch. Okay. Maybe punch, bro. What is that gonna do? Grab it? You ain't grab. You gay. You gay. I, I mean, punch. All right, gay, right, I'm, nah, I'm, I'm, you didn't mean that. You meant what you meant. We good? Thank you. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast. I'm your host, DWAK Darius. I'm here with my co-host, Fritz. Say what's good to the people of the world. It was good, yo. No. It's your boy, Fritz. Back again. Back and better than ever. Back and he didn't want to wear the full um, pajamas. Yo, look, yo, look, look, look at the at, commitment at, I got at, for y'all. At, yo, hold on. Let me show you, bro. Go ahead. Show, show the people how, how normal that looks. Yo, yo. So I came in thinking about, I don't know, I, I came in look uh the pajamas that I was thinking about was probably like some, I don't know, like the flannel looking pajamas. Oh, that been the, hard. You know, you know like, what i Like, like, like the button up shit? Yeah, the button up. You the wore that? Yes. That's what I wear, bro. You wear that? that like for, yeah, with my girl? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, oh, I thought you'd be like, you wear that normally. You wear like, that's like a nightgown. Nah, nah I don't. But I don't say, wear, what the nah, fuck? Nah. <laughs> you live in the <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Look at, look at what this nigga. That shit not even that bad. Look, look at what this nigga thought I was gonna wear, bro. As a, that's literally I'm not, not that gonna bad. tell y'all my age because y'all might say I'm old, bro. But yo, listen, bro. That's not that bad. This is for a ten year old kid, bro. What you mean, bro? Like, that's the Christmas how, spirit. Look how Santa looks like. First of all, the quality is trash. That's one thing. <laughs> Damn, this just looks faded. Bro, we got that shit. Uh, Jay's parents got that from me. Oh damn, my fault. <laughs> Wait, when? It was like what? Maybe two years ago. Okay, it was, it was a minute ago. It was a minute ago. It was a minute ago. Like Santa, would, come on, bro. That's not that I'm bad. I'm not gonna wear this as as a as a man, bro. As a man, it's crazy. That. So look, look what I'm wearing. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, bro. I Wednesday. told him to take it off, bro. <laughs> onesies aren't that bad. Nah, onesies is crazy. Bro. Come on, bro. Yo, if you if you're a man, bro. The thing is, though, he got a girl, so it's cool. Type if you're shit. a man, a single man wearing onesies, bro. Oh, yeah, nah, then nah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, you gotta. That's kind of weird. Yeah, you gotta. That's I what don't I'm know what, it, what you got, bro. What if it's a tough onesie? What's a tough onesie? What's, what onesie? How much am I bet? How much am I bet five year onesies gonna <coughs> be like a, a, a style trend? I'm calling that right now. Five years? Five years from now. 2000, what? 2029. 2029. Niggas gonna be wearing onesies at school. I'll bet you, like, because think about it, it's comfortable. If they just make it like a better, mat- if an, if Nike made a onesie, niggas is buying it. Nike onesie might be, <laughs> like might, come might, on, might hit. Nike onesie. If niggas wear Nike onesies, like it's just like a like a it look like a Nike tech, but so like Nike tech. That's your might. Look, look at this nigga switch it up and now. But the, but but the but the quality would be what though? It'll be like of a Nike tech, but it's oh, like Nike, it's like that's it's uncomfortable. I'm just wear a Nike tech. But like, imagine it's like a like baggy though. Like it's like it's not like cuffs. It's like baggy sweats, like a like straight sweats, and it's like I'm a, a, I'm a yeah. And imagine when oh, you just, like a like you know how them skydivers be wearing. Yeah. Oh, yo, I just came up. That's a good that's idea. A pretty, that's pretty tough. Like think see, of that's not a that's not see that's tough like as a onesie, but that right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's you the gotta, Christmas spirit, bro. That right there, you got to chill. Like, that is just tight. Like, that. <laughs> nah, nah, it's not that bad. It's, it's pretty loose. It's not that tight, but nah, still. I, one time I, I wore J's by accident. I'm like, damn, this shit hella, like, scrunchy on my shit. Like, I got a wedgie, bro. That <laughs> shit was wild, bro. But nah, Nike yeah. onesies, bro. Like, think about it. Like, oh, I got the idea right now. So think about it, right? Like, you know when, when like, skiers and snowboarders, they have, like, yeah. that suit? Imagine it's, like, a Nike, like snowboard suit yeah. like you zip it up oh that's fire that's bro fire. that's fire. come on bro nike hit made, me up bro i'm in market i'm in hr bro i can help I you make a product some shit, bro. Nigga, what you mean? i just call i just i just made it up. i said it on my own bro on that's your crazy. own i literally wait nike whoa, whoa, sponsored whoa. me bro whoa 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 whoa. you literally just, i'm the one who said nike yeah but I, and then i and i brought the idea to life 
Nigga didn't say nothing. I didn't say I didn't say nothing. I said what them skydivers be wearing. I didn't say that. Oh, oh wow. God, I, I, I didn't say that, bro. I didn't say that. a fucking weird. Yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> yeah, Scott, yo, come on, bro. Who who would you Man. want to like sponsor this podcast? Like, who do you think would be a good? Uh, That's a good question to sponsor this podcast. You got you got the conspiracy theorists. Um, on YouTube, like Mr. Ballin could do that. They can, he can sponsor us. Yeah, huh? He can sponsor us, or you, he has like, like I mean, like who? What company you think will be will want to sponsor us? Oh, like a company? Yeah, yeah. Because like uh, you know how Barstool be signing niggas and shit. Oh, maybe. Damn. You think we'll be a bar? We could be a bar stool, like a nah. You don't think like so? a house of highlights type shit, like person? Well, like, yeah, maybe. I mean, <sighs> because think about it, bro. I mean, see. RDC, they made skits pertaining to basketball and sports. Yeah. So that's why. Are they signed to like? Their House of Highlights. Oh, their House of Highlights? They're partners with. Okay, okay. What's Is, is AMP signing anybody? I think AMP has a partnership with House of Highlights too. Really? Yeah. And and like other shit, but. You even get signed by like overtime? Nah, we, we have no, like. We don't really talk about we sports. We don't really talk about sports. Damn. And when we did, like, it wasn't like the biggest, like. We, we called Wemby, though. Me yeah, and you called yeah, Wemby. Yeah, we called did. that. Oh, shit. You should have. I know. I should I should bring that. You should have brought it back I should up. bring that clip back in the archives. Yeah. It's something. That's, that was like like episode like. Yeah, that was two years. That was like like two years nine, ago. bro. That was way long yeah, ago. That was like two years Maybe ago. We had like 117 right now, bro. Yeah. So. That was like two years ago. I mean, we, we never know. Because I feel like Barstool. Barstool is a, is a possibility because them niggas. You know the I think the owner of Barstool is from New Jersey. Oh, where? Yeah, he's from like 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 the shore and shit. Oh, like he be going around Jersey and like trying pizza places out and shit and be like oh, I, seeing like uh, what's the best pizza in New Jersey. One time he he tried this one guy's pizza and the nigga was like, bro, I don't like like the owner. He was like, yo, I don't like you because you be giving bad ratings. And then he was on camera, he's like, you know, what? fuck you, nigga. He's like, that's why your pizza sucks. And he was saying that shit on like he recorded, but I think it was a Barstool? skit though. Yeah, the owner of Barstool. He said, "Fuck you, nigga." No, no, not the N word. Oh, okay. well, yeah, that would be crazy. Okay, crazy. I thought you he was like, said. No, 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 no. Okay, say that. okay, so you added that. <laughs> no, no, I did. He did not okay. say the N word. Oh, that. I that just added be, that part because of crazy bad language. Okay, cool. But yeah, so they, he basically said, but I think it was a skit though, just to get like bad publicity, so people will like go try, go the, pizza. try the pizza. So like, you never know, man. We might need some bad publicity on this podcast. Somebody need to have a fight on here, bro. A what? Like on Adam Twenty Two, bro. Like uh, we have to skit a fight. Well, what fight did he skit? The, the skit. I, I'm not saying he skits fights, but like you know how uh, they, they niggas be fighting on the shit. Like yeah. that one nigga they always be saying like on King David. Yeah, oh yeah, bro. That nigga, be, that nigga from Chicago with those face tats. Bro, but like I, I thought think he, he has face tats. I, I thought he was. <coughs> I thought he was like a rapper. That nigga's just like a. He's like Ron Suno of like Chicago. For real. Yeah, he's but just Ron Suno a rapper now though. Yeah, but like you know how Ron Suno was like a. He was a comedian. Comedian like first. A, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. that, but he's not as funny though. Yeah, you just be saying on King David on it. Wait, so so <clears throat> remember when he had that? So that was a skit. Remember when he had that uh, white um what security guard? What white security guard? Who? Bro, he had like a a white guy right next to him, and he, the white guy was like wearing like baggy clothes, like baggy clothes. Like yeah. he was wearing like he was dressed like he was like in two thousand like. Three Who shit. on the, the the King David nigga? Yeah, right next to the King David nigga. Um, it on the a, podcast. Yeah, is that the one? Where he's like, you got the you got the strap on you or some shit. I think so. Is that the one when he's he told Adam twenty two he's about to smack the shit out of him? I don't know. I don't was it was that was that 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 Crip nigga there with the the five five? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're talking about. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. The white dude, yeah. the white dude was right next to him, and that nigga was like, nigga was like. <laughs> Yo, you supposed to be my, you supposed to be my security guard on King David. He's like, no, I'm your man. Yo, I'm your manager, bro. He said, what you be managing? You don't be doing nothing. You broke. <laughs> that nigga, that shit was funny because the white dude was like, like, like he looked like a the way he was dressed and it was so weird. And the guy you said he had like baggy a, clothes on. Yeah, he and and he had like a snapback. <laughs> what type of fit is the like, nigga wearing? It was it was funny, and he was just smoking weed. Like it was just. Was he on the interview, or he was like he back? Was on the oh, oh, I think I know who yeah. you're talking about. Okay, he was okay. on there. I do remember what you're talking about. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. I think that nigga. I think he's banned from Adam Twenty Two podcast because he oh. said. I think after he said he's gonna kill that nigga or some shit. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what be going on in the media nowadays, yeah, bro. They be tweaking. They be <coughs> that shit. 
They they be tweaking. You you heard about that? Didn't you say you want to talk about that shit with yo, P Diddy, bro? Yo, that nigga P Diddy, bro. Yeah, he, first of all, it seems like what is going all, on? Okay, so, first of all, so first of all, I guess Cassie, the girl that he, uh, he used to date, yeah, some um, back in the day, he got um, <laughs> she started talking about like. How she used to, he used to sexually assault her and shit like that. And or was she like her. wasn't she like suing him for like thirty mil? For mad bread. And 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 not only that, bro. After that, sh- like statement went out where she um or after she sued him or whatever. Yeah. They instantly gave her the bread. Had a settlement money like. But it, I mean, P Diddy is rich as fuck though. Yeah, but why did he? If it wasn't true, why did was he so quick to get like to to making a. Uh, like a, uh, like a, like the the money, like an of, agreement, yeah. Like I he didn't even try to fight it. I just feel like, and, and and some came out where he, well, he made a statement about it. He's like, oh, n- enough is enough. Uh, you guys are ruining my reputation, trying to ruin my reputation. That he uh, supposedly, allegedly assaulted, uh, sexually assaulted a seventeen-year-old. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear about that shit. I heard yeah. he was like sex trafficking people or some shit. Yeah, bro. These niggas is wildin', bro. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. You also you you heard like one of his sons is not his. Yeah, Quincy. No, the other one, the light skin nigga. The other light skin nigga. Yeah, they said that's not his son. The shorter nigga. Yeah, they said that's his dead bodyguard son. And like he like the son didn't know about it until like recently, and that's why you're not fucking with P Diddy right now. Nah, I promise you. Oh, I just cracked my neck. <laughs> nah. Yeah, bro. They said like. I think he one don't of, look like him. He though. don't look like him at all. So I'm like, but like he's been telling like that's like his dad and shit. But like, I guess like, like his bodyguard son. Yeah, like his like his bodyguard that passed away. So his so his dead body. So he just took him in. He probably took him in and been like, yeah, like like treating him like a father and just like yeah. never told him like the his who his real dad was. Nah, that's od though. Like that imagine you don't know who like, but like do you think like he had a feeling though? Because he didn't look nothing, nothing like him. Like him. Cause he like, like he looked like he looked more like Quincy than that's what I'm saying. Than than because isn't Qu- Quincy's not his real son? No, Quincy like a stepson. Like a stepson, I think Quincy's real father is some singer that from back in the day. Oh, some singer. Yeah, and I guess he had he he married. I guess P Diddy's. He was married to P Diddy. Like his I think mom. she was dead though. I think she's dead now. Oh, like his mom like passed away or something. Yeah, the one that passed away, and I guess she had custody. Yo, with, what the, with the from the kid with really the kid, with Quincy and and he gave know, her he like just, Diddy or whatever. Diddy, like, yeah, Diddy. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm really, I'm really just assuming. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. I feel like that's the only way that that could even be a thing, bro. I just you know? think P Diddy's whole situation because niggas been saying like he been doing weird shit yo, since, like, niggas, for like years. For years, bro. Niggas, yo, there was um, there was rumors about that he was gay. Yeah, you heard about that shit with his, what his bodyguard was saying like he was doing the Swedish spies and shit? Yeah. Like they said like that's what like the gay niggas mean. He used to be there all the time. Yeah, he used to do that. Like, um, I think he had like a orgy. Yeah. Yo. Like, that's wild. That's wild shit, bro. That's some wild <laughs> shit. But like, like, those are crazy allegations. Those like, a- accusation, crazy. whatever it's, it's called. crazy accusations. And it's like too, like, like I, I feel like it, it could be like, I don't think it's fake. I feel like it might be like some truth I think truth there's to that. some truth to it. Especially that we see all these other famous people like Dwight Howard, Will Smith coming out, that shit. Like, it's just like, I feel. Will Smith. You didn't hear about that shit? About what? Bro, they said Will Smith is mook, bro. No, I know you didn't hear about it. What his own manager said, bro? He said his manager seen him no. having sex with uh, no. what's that dude name from? Uh, what's you you remember that? You ever watch that movie with the with Birdie, the nigga that had the 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 gun in the bag in that basketball movie with Tupac? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let no. me let me show you, bro. Will Smith, no, bro. Why? He was. He was tweaking. Why bro. are y'all niggas so undercover nowadays? Hey, bro, it's a crazy world, bro. Niggas don't want to. You know out the why car. it's under? You know, I mean, there's a reason. above the rim. You ever watch Above the Rim? Nah, I didn't. All right, it's a. Uh, I forgot the Dwayne Martin. You know who Dwayne Martin is? Oh, 
The nigga that used to d- date, uh, be married to Tisha Campbell. Yes. Oh my. Bro, he God. said. Bro, he said. The manager said that he walked in on Dwayne Martin and Will Smith having sex, but Dwayne Martin was the one like pegging the nigga. Oh, bro, he my. said he was destroying. Cause oh, that shit no, is crazy. No, stop! 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 You're tweaking. The, that's what he said. <laughs> yo, You're he tweaking. said yo, that shit was crazy, bro. His manager. His manager said that. His ex manager. Yeah, his ex manager. But that you see. But like, why would you lie to that about yeah, Dwayne that? Martin? Is a real specific name. Exactly, like, that's mad random. And then he said that's why Jade had been acting all weird because Smith, Will Smith, low key like Mook on the down low type shit. Oh my! And like God. he's trying to hide it from the world. You know what it is? It's, it's because of their profession. And but this and, and nowadays you could just come out and yeah, not go. But but nowadays is already too late. They they <laughs> they dated. They've been married. They've had children. Yeah. They've, they have the reputation. They have all, they have the money. They have all that. I, they're going to keep it on the download. They, they they care about what people think of them so much. I mean, they're celebrities. They, they care about that. It's just that. I feel like in Will Smith's case, he probably could have, you know, I mean, you know, he probably could have like came came out a little bit like if if this is true. If it's true. But he, like he could have came out but you know, P. Diddy is different, bro, because like it's like he he's got, in a hip hop scene. Like yeah, no. you know what I mean? Like he was like in one of like the founders of the shit. He was bro. the founder, yeah, like Biggie, like you know, mm-hmm. like he was He was in the middle of all that shit. That's mace, what I'm saying. Like he was doing all that. I feel like he killed mad niggas on the low. Oh, bro, I heard you know, Tupac, not Tupac. Um, Biggie? Was it Biggie? Not Biggie. I heard Diddy um, was calling hits, bro. Same, bro. Somebody got to do it. Never know. I, yeah, you know, I, he was a... Uh, what was he? Like, what he is he? He was a manager, bro. Oh, so he's just like the manager? I, I think he was... Or producer, I think, maybe? I think he managed hella people. You think so? I think. Like, I, but, like, he obviously, like, he was... He made some music, too. Yeah, he made some music, but, like... like I don't know what he did. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what he did. Like, I don't know if he was like. I never knew what he did. He probably was like. Uh, I think he was a manager, either yeah, a manager like, or like a producer or some shit. But nah, I feel like not they, a producer. I feel like they he was feel, definitely a manager. But what's it like? What's a, a producer? Those are niggas that make the beats. Yeah, they, they yeah they like make the beats. Oh okay. I, I always I thought, don't think Diddy's a producer. Maybe he probably produced like. Or help produce like a couple like songs and shit. Songs, but I don't think he's a producer. Like Kanye was a producer before yeah. he became like a rapper. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, and he still is a producer. I don't think Diddy's a producer. I think he managed. He's a hip hop manager. Like, like he like but he he, he so found much. talent. He's a talent. Like he could find. Ah, uh, okay. And then I guess he invests has- in them and. Re- and then you know it comes back to him. I don't know, bro. Bro, that man got so much money, bro. He worth like a billion dollars. That's what I'm saying. Like, th- like with that thirty million dollars, that's like giving somebody like thirty k, bro. Yeah. For that nigga. Yeah. It's, it's, or not even thirty, maybe like three thousand. So like he just didn't give a fuck. It's easy. So I don't know, bro. I think it's just been really. I, like, no, my- I mean, obviously, like you have the money to sweep shit under the rug, but obviously, you did. You you did that you did the settlement like that fast. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't even it like looks, what a week. It was it it wasn't even a week. It was it was like that show was like probably a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So that obviously people are gonna look at you like weird. Like why did he do that? And 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 they're bringing back old videos that Cassie looked like messed up in. Messed up, not really messed up, but or not. I don't think Cassie looked messed up or mm-hmm. or, but did he? Just looked like oh he's a controlling dude. type of person. Yeah, you know you know how people yeah yeah try yeah, to yeah yeah make shit some that is probably not. But yeah, you know, that's true. You know it, it does. It's not a good light to Diddy. You know, and especially you know where he's at in the music where world. where he's now. at in the music world and famous people are known to keep shit under the rug and be doing wild shit like, oh hell yeah I, bro. I don't understand like uh, for example i don't know like trey songs bro like you would never know nigga, what he's doing you never you don't be knowing what he's doing until like so like i heard that that nigga was tweaking like right like, like what hitting people like what, being women or some shit? Like, like he's actually like he assaulted women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, it's like I don't understand how 
Like your Trey songs. Yeah. But at what the, do you need to force yourself on to women? For? But what if they're like lying though? That's and that's that's that, what I'm saying. That could be part of it. You know what I'm saying? Women have lied to get about, money about niggas. and got money, and niggas have went to jail for that. Like, yeah, you know, like, but you know, it just when 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 many women have Kiki Palmer talked about Trey songs. What they they slept together or something? No, like oh, like, like how he, she like. That nigga be like abusive and shit. There's a video about it. Like she was, she said on Breakfast Club, like she don't play, she don't play with Trace about about shit like that. Oh no, nah, hold bro. on, bro. I don't know. It's just, I just think, bro, it's a weird scenario, especially when you have. That's why. That's why when you famous, being around a lot of women, women can really backfire on you, bro. Because you can really find that one crazy motherfucker that will really like beat herself up on purpose. So they'll so she can say it was you, and now you go to prison for fucking God knows how long, bro. Like it's not that like it's not that difficult. And then they get all this bread, bro. Like remember what happened to I don't know if you remember what happened to that that football player. He was he was yeah. that meme. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. He played he, with Baylor. Nigga, Baylor yeah that that that's what I was talking about. Like nigga went to jail for nothing. For he didn't nothing. do nothing. He didn't do nothing. He went to jail for like I don't know how many years, two years, two three. But he was he's about to be first round pick, bro. Yeah, he was like, oh my god, I've been pissed yeah, off, bro. Oh, I I would just I I don't know what I'd do, bro. That guy, like, and it's crazy because do the females not get consequences for all that? I feel like now they are. I think they I, should. I think they're like starting to look into more consequences because like it's really crazy. get that woman who had Emmett Till killed. No cap. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I, I, I don't care how. Nigga said, "Get his, get her bloodline. Get, get, get her, get her, her daughters, her, 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 her uh, son. I don't care, bro. Her grandchildren, bro. They need. We need reparations. We need for reparations for that. Hey, amen. Because bro. they too. can't do shit. Bro. Yo, get her. I don't care how old she is. Put her in the cell. I don't care, bro. Boy, like, I think she's dead. She gotta be dead. Good. Good. <laughs> she I don't sick. think she's dead, bro. How long ago was that? Like the I really don't think she's dead, bro. Let me check. Admit. Let, I don't admit think she's dead, dead bro. To or maybe she died recently. Woman. Uh Carlin Carlin Bryant Donaham. She looked racist. Caroline Bryant Donaham. Let's see where when she died. Oh yeah, she dies at eighty eight. What uh, how many years ago? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, hold on, I gotta actually look at. The, God damn, where's Wikipedia when you need this shit? Oh, here it is. Caroline Bryan. Caroline. God damn, hurry up! My bad. Damn, she looked racist as fuck. Don't know how to use the iPad. And get oh the, shit, she died recently. I told you. She died in like 2020. She died in April. I told you. Damn. I told you. That she needed to be in jail. Oh, like why she, <laughs> she needed to die in jail. She fucking tweaked, bro. Like, like, like what? What was this? You know what probably that shit shit like that probably happened way more that it wasn't like documented. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I think that shit happened to like it was like a um I think I said on the pod one time. Like there was like a it was it was a little girl that had uh it was like a little black girl. She had a nice dress or whatever. Uh-huh. And, and I the, remember that. And the two the two white girls was like was jealous that she had the dress. Yep. So I like know. they so I guess like the little girl said that her father like touched her or some shit yep. and they had her had him hanged. Yeah, I I, I know what you're talking about. That's O D. Like, Crazy. come on, bro. Crazy. That's a wild world Crazy living, shit, bro. bro. Like niggas need niggas free the niggas, bro. Nah, niggas, is there is there a, a domestic rep- violence for a woman beating a man, bro? You think there is? Yeah. Like, but why don't they document that shit, bro? Like, well, wait, wait, how did that get to that? <laughs> <laughs> like, why is that? Why is that shit in the media, bro? You know, you know why? Because, That's embarrassing. Because it is a man <laughs> getting beat by a woman. By a woman. But what if? So he... <laughs> that's why it's like, oh, it looks like he's not manly, or it looks like he's fuck that. But but at the end, and he's just staying there. But at the end of the day, bro, mm-hmm. that's still a human being putting hands on a human being, bro. Exactly. No matter no matter how, and and the guy has that much respect to not hit, hit the, the woman. girl. Mm-hmm. You know, there's niggas out there that really, oh yeah, really 
do you bad. Have you ever seen that video of that that nigga that slammed that big girl and all the money fell out of her pocket? Nah. Bro, he fucking he fucking earthed that. <laughs> he <laughs> threw her up and slammed her. And like, you know when like Mario dies, all his coins fall out? <laughs> She had like hella, hella like bread said, in her pocket. Sonic's rings fell out. <laughs> bro, that bro. shit fell out everywhere. <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, wait, what was she doing? I don't know. It was like, that was just the part. I don't know what happened in the oh, video. Okay. And then yeah. I see another video. It was like some Russian woman. Like she smacked the shit out of the nigga and he popped the, he, he rocked it right in the chin. There's niggas that, that'll happen, bro. Man, what happened? Because you know, and some niggas, mothers tell them. Yo, yo, real shit. They tell niggas, them. Niggas, niggas, yo, they, like mostly men, yeah, they're being taught not to hit women and this, this down the third. There's some niggas who have mothers who's like, yo, if you getting your hand put on you, bro, mm-hmm. d- d- don't do that, bro. Are you teaching your son that? That's a good question. Are you teaching? I don't think. I don't, I don't want to teach him. No, I don't want to teach him. To hit her. No, I don't want to teach him to hit her. I want to teach him to move out the situation. There you go. And, there and, and, you, and, go. and, and, and you know. Because he might take that hitting like. Literally, like it might OD. go a little too far. Like he might, OD. like he might, she might just get on his nerve. He just swing. Yeah. Nah, that's not what I want right nah. now. Like if you, if you, if you get hit, just you know, just walk out the situation. Call your mother. Like the thing is though, like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> like me myself, bro. Like your girl I, smack the shit out of you. Not smack, but like she rock you right your chin. Bro, <laughs> like shit like that. I don't know. Mm. I don't know, bro. Nah. Because I've gotten <laughs> mad with her even playing. <laughs> and you hit me, bro. Why are you doing that? See, you're doing too much. Like, what? But you? I'm not going to rock her. Yeah, no. Nah, like, I would, like, nah, I don't think I would ever, bro. I can't, bro. Um, I don't think I can. I, nah, I, don't, I don't think, think I, I can. can. Like, nah, this bro. Is like, this is like, but I, but you know, there's urges, bro. I ain't going to lie. So Nigga <laughs> say he got urges. Yo, say. listen, bro. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's disrespectful, bro. <laughs> so it's like, bro, like it's at the end of the day, it's like, like sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, it's just, you got your blood boiling. So at the end, so at least I have the, the the patience and the and the and the and the you know self control self control to just good. chill. Yeah, I know, cause you know some things got anger management problems. That's just wild, bro. Yo, I seen, I seen, I seen. I'd be scared I mean, if that I'm a nigga, woman. That nigga got whooped um, after though. But she, on Twitter, um, this guy pranked, uh, no, no, she pranked uh, her boyfriend that she was a trans. Oh, I did see that. Nigga was he boom, was rocking boom, her. Boom, boom. And wait, what happened? Did she like get her brothers on him or something? Yeah, I think either her brother or like her dad. And he that beat nigga, his ass? That nigga was, he beat, beat his ass? He said, don't, you, 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 hit, you, you hit my daughter. This that, bang, bang, bang. Nah, that nigga, nigga's here transgender. They hear transgender and automatically think nigga, and it's like, ah, right, all rules, is, all rules drop. That is crazy though. That is why I feel like I feel like that should not be a pr- don't prank like that. Nah, yeah, nah. that is not a. But how do you even make that a, a prank? Like, what, like how is that even possible? I didn't watch the video. I just, I just seen him like wailing on her. No, nah, like I didn't see like the whole. No, no, I didn't. See, yeah, I just seen the part where she, where she, you know, sat him down or whatever, and told him, and that nigga started tweaking. And that nigga said, I gotta go, bro. After he just hit her. You can't apologize. That's what I'm saying. You tweaked. But like I'm saying. But that's crazy prank. That is Because a... why you can't play like that. As a man, bro, do not like as like please don't play like okay, that. Okay, but bro. like think about it. This prank has to go on like in the beginning stages, like before y'all even do anything. What you mean? Unless like they say like like, oh, I, I replaced my shit. Yeah. Oh, they, like they that, said, I had a penis, and then like I, I mean, I don't know, my nigga. But like, how would it? That's what I'm saying. Like, how would it work? Like, how would you do this prank if it's like you know you seen the coochie? No, you I, you know there's replacement. You could replace it. I for example, <laughs> I watched 90 Day Fiance. Uh huh. There is a transgender in there. Uh huh. And that nigga. Yeah. Guess what? The nigga, and you know he lives. He lives in like Mold- Moldovia, whatever. Okay. Some, some somewhere, somewhere yeah, in yeah. Europe, I think. Uh, so they dated each other. Did did the other guy know? Can I speak? Oh, go 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 go, my father. <laughs> <laughs> they were together years before. I guess fifteen years before. Yeah, he was young. This and the third. Mm-hmm. He was having se- he, you know he was having sex with her. He was having sex with her. She or yeah, she told him, "I'm a trans." Out of nowhere. So he didn't know the whole time. <laughs> he didn't know the whole time. And guess what he's doing? 
Marrying her? He's about to try to marry her. 15 years later. You know what it is, <laughs> bro? You know what it is? How does that work? I don't know. That has, to be, his, that has to be his first girlfriend. It got to be. I don't know. That thing cannot feel like a coochie. There's no way that shit feel like a coochie. I don't know. <laughs> I no don't way. know. Bro, have you seen the... The what? The there's nah. You have seen it in high in high school. What? There's a there's a the there's, procedure. Yeah. There oh was yeah a, yeah. I do remember. remember we, in we, was in, we was in like we was in we gym was class. In gym class. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Yo, that shit. That shit scared. That shit I scared me. No. I remember exactly where I'm we were sitting. I'm looking at it right there. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> We were sitting in the top left corner, right by uh, right by the, the trainer's office, bro. We was watching it. I forgot who was there. I think it was like Malik or something. Bro, you Malik, think like, yeah. they gotta like cut like the the shit and like peel it like yeah, a banana, bro. Oh, yeah, nah, that's crazy. Made me cringe, bro. That's just crazy, bro. That's just crazy procedure, bro. Imagine you do that procedure, you'd be like, nah, I don't like, I don't want this lifestyle. Like you fucking you, wild. You, you can't do it no more. Nah. Like you're done. Like you you can't. There's I don't think there's a reverse. Hell no, no, there can't be no reverse because think about like I mean. Can you? Is you there, know, it's known that the clitoris is like the penis. Yeah, yeah. Isn't exactly. like inside out or some shit. Yeah, it's like. Fast yeah, fast. yeah. But like, so like, so if like a girl wanted one, like, could they get a procedure where she can get one? I think that 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 um that that um procedure. Maybe that that's like. I think there was somewhere like because that's O D. I think there was somewhere that a person did say that they have one. Cause I feel like that too, but like, how the fuck does that work? Like, it has to. Like, are you like constantly like hard? I think they did say that he has one and it works exactly like it. I think it was like they they took like pills like, though. Oh, oh, like I like, don't think they like, like, like rhino pills or yeah, some shit. Well, not rhino pills, <laughs> but I think they took something, bro. Because did you remember years ago? Yeah. Like years ago, in Oprah. Yeah. And there was a guy that was pregnant. You don't remember that, bro? Oh, I do. Wait, was it he was, a, he was, was he black? A, no, he was Asian. He's a he was an he Asian was like dude. A, like he Let me was see. Like Asian. Bro, he, uh, uh, the he preg- was pregnant. Yeah, pregnant, pregnant guy. Yeah. But wait, he was a boy, boy. Uh, no, no, no. He was. Oh, a he was a tra- okay, he, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian man, preg. Ne- oh, Oprah. Like Oprah. I think I think he was. Is Oprah, Oprah even as famous as she used to be? Nah, but that's because she stays low key though. Nah, she got her own. Ch- this dude. Yeah, that guy. Yep, that's him right there, the pregnant guy. Yep. Oh my. And I think he said something about like he, like you know, his shit works. Like his, how, like, his, like he has one. I think so. I just, I don't know how he got pregnant. That shit caught. It, it, it's fucking my head up, bro. So it's like I don't know, bro. Wait, this looks like a woman. Like this looks like a. This looks like a man. Is that? I don't know. That look like a man too. They like. I don't what know. What are you man. talking about? It's like, no, I'm talking about this one right here. Oh, that look like a like a, that look like another transgender. Oh, probably. Uh, or maybe I don't. I don't think so. I don't think. I think she's a regular woman. Oh, okay. So if you're being dis- you're being disrespectful. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I don't know. I just you know this. It's a touchy subject, but it's like you know. It's interesting, bro. It is interesting. I I, I just want to know like like how much bread is that. That has to be mad, bro. It gotta be a million dollars. Like that gotta be the the most like expensive um, uh, plastic surgery procedure in history. But it gotta it has be. To be. Because Cause that, think that about it. Crazy. There's no like. There's no way that shit feel like a normal coochie, bro. I don't know. It can't. <laughs> there's no way that shit gotta be like a. It's like that shit gotta be like a vacant hole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like like. Well, he said. Well, the guy in Nine Day Fiance, he said when they be, you know, doing it, he he said he can't tell the difference. <laughs> God damn, bro. So I don't know, bro. Science is getting scary, bro. I don't know, bro. Free like, art children, bro. Mother, motherfuckers might have did a great job. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't understand. They put the right. They, they put the right parts in the, the right, right areas. parts exactly. Just, just man, bro. I remember. I remember. I seen this other thing. There was a girl that I think she transitioned to a guy, and she said she wanted to kill herself because she didn't realize like how bad it how was. How bad of a guy? Yeah. How, how bad? bad it, how hard it is being man, a guy, bro? Yeah. yeah. It's hard out here in these streets, but you ain't never. It, it, niggas, they don't tell you how hard it is they in these streets. They don't, they don't tell you. Like niggas might not have like the physical aspect, like that you got. Yeah, you guys have periods, pregnancy, this, yeah, that, the third. But just like the social and like just like the world, the world, just just what it is to be a man. You gotta be great, bro. You gotta be like. If you're you not know, great, you look like a failure. Yeah, so it is. What it be, is. You gotta be pretty tough in the world. So I don't know, like, yeah, bro, like. <laughs> 
you know. She was but, saying, I guess it is like lonely and shit. Hell yeah. I guess it is because, like, you know, like niggas walk up to girls, like, you'd like niggas walk up to girls, not the other way around most of the time. Yeah. Like, it'd be very rare. Like, you can't just expect niggas to, like, girls to come up to you because you're a handsome person. Like, yeah, it don't work yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you gotta, hey, man, it is what it is, though. But now, back, back with the, um, with the other shit, though, with the, uh, like, the jealousy and shit like that, bro. Like, when we was talking about sexual assault, that shit really is crazy because, like, there's, like, there's really little to no proof for anything. Like, the yeah. thing with KPJ, like, you heard that, like, isn't the, she like... She said, she said... Is she, like, that, dropping it or something? Yeah, she she said that he didn't, he never slapped her. Or, like, broke her neck or nothing. Or like that. did, yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying, like, who the fuck did Like, like there was a ghost? Happened? Like, what happened? That's what I'm saying, did she, like, fall? Like... Why are you dropping it? Like it, it doesn't. And not only that, bro, isn't isn't Miles Bridges playing? Yes. Did he beat his he beat twice? His girl twice I heard in front of her child. Yes. Why is this thing in the NBA? I don't know. I really I'm don't. Sorry, Miles Bridges, but you tweaking. He tweaked. I don't know why you getting pay, niggas still getting paid, bro. Yeah, bro. Hella bread. I think he got a good. He got a new contract too. I don't know. new. Yeah, I think he. I think he got like re-signed for like one year though. But still, though, that is still that's crazy, insane, bro. Like, I don't know. I have no clue. Like, even like, all right, what do you think about Josh Giddy? What do you think about oh, the whole Josh yep, Giddy shit? Yep, I wanted to talk about Josh Giddy. Too. What do you think about that? What do I think about that? I don't think it's his fault. You think she lied? I think she lied. Cause one, I seen him at the club. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause one, I think he was 19 and she was 17 at the time. Right, mm-hmm. so I but I think she used the fake. Oh, I thought I, she was fifteen. Nah, like she was like at the time they were saying like it was a seventeen year old girl, but like I think when they met it was two years ago. Oh, 17. and he's twenty one, mm-hmm. so like she's like nineteen now. So I guess like he thought that she was of age because they was in the club together. Mm-hmm. I guess he met her in the club. She had a fake ID. Yeah, something. but like also this Snapchat, like you remember, like you can like take a picture and put anything under that. Yeah, you remember how we used to do like you remember Chris used to do that shit all the time. We used to make memes what, like edit, that. Edit, edit, yeah, edit. like UJ used to do that shit all the time. Like mm-hmm. you just take a picture and you just put something that it sounds like you said it or sent it, but mm-hmm. it's like it's just Snapchat. Mm-hmm. So anybody could really just like, like that's not really concrete evidence. Like mm-hmm. okay, it says that, but like anybody could really like what did fake it. Say? That. It said like I just fucked Josh Giddy or some shit. Oh. Yeah. So like they thought like she was like oh, an underage girl. So I'm like, but it's like it's Snapchat though. Like you can't really prove that because like niggas could really change shit yeah, on but Snapchat. Weren't they naked though? He just had his like shirt, he had off. A shirt off. But like you like that's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. can really make shit look out of context. Yeah. And then he was saying, like, I think I think there was like because I was arguing about this shit with Tom. I'm like, Tom, there's like no concrete evidence that this woman is 17. And like there's not like there's nothing. Like there's nothing. Like there's no like he was saying, like, he was saying like there was like no graduation pictures. I'm like, so like I don't put my graduation pictures up. Yeah. So it's like like they don't have to post their graduation pictures, but like you don't know how old this person is. Yeah. But, like, I don't think, like, they was trying to compare it to Carl Malone. Hell no. Wait, Carl Malone is a literal pedophile. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yes. Yo, let's talk about, why is, why is this nigga, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Bro, this nigga impregnated. A 12-year-old. A 12-year-old. And then her son. How is that even. Don't know. Don't this, know how that even started. How is that even the same thing? You know what it is, I think? Because I feel like Utah is so spaced out and so small and he was so su- successful in Utah. He's literally like the king. Oh, yeah. So it's like the king, like in like normal, like back in the day's time, like king and like they used to do that shit with little girls too. I feel like like he could do, he could have done whatever. He could have done whatever and he got, he can get away with it. Cause like he's just, yeah, that's he true. rules the world. That's yeah. why he still live down there, bro. You can't do, he can't do that shit in like North Carolina nah. or like New York. He can't do that shit over here. Nah. In, in Utah where they all Mormons and they, they all, they don't really. They be doing nothing, weird shit. Nothing anyways. go on over there. Anyway. Nothing, exactly. So it's like I mean, but that they, like I don't think comparing him to Carl Malone is fair. It's, I don't think any. It gotta be. It gotta be just as bad as Carl Malone for it to be, be compared to, to Carl, Carl Malone. Malone because Carl Malone it not only had sex, it impregnated a twelve year old. And he was like what 30, 30 what? He was 30? in his thirties. That's wild, bro. Maybe, maybe, maybe late twenties. I don't know, but bro, it's a bro, and it's like it's also like I heard that that girl's son made it to the NFL. What really? Yeah, but like he made it to like a practice squad. I forgot so, what his name was. Oh, he, he's like I think he's like he got to be like maybe a little older than us, like maybe pushing thirty, like maybe like late twenties, like twenty something. No. 
How imagine how that would imagine how that is, but that gotta be embarrassing. Yeah, I would like that means his mom, if he say he's like twenty eight, his mom's like forty. Yeah. That's O D. That's that is, crazy. That is, that is way too close. That's way too close, bro. And it's like it's like she, she it's not her fault. Like it's not her fault, but yeah, it's not her fault, but it's like But it's like just think sick. about it. She's twelve. Like yeah. she really has she can't she doesn't know nothing. But like how do you look at a twelve year old and be like, That's and fire? That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's pedophilia OD. is so weird to me, and you know they try to make it like it's a it's a it might be a mental like no you're not you know you're just weird bro I'm not gonna lie you're oh you're just, not gonna give him the mental card no you're not getting a mental <laughs> card I'm sorry like I'm I'm not gonna give you that pass okay you're just a weird motherfucker bro okay because it's like yo like you're looking at a child mm-hmm. and like yeah there's grown room there's women out there oh yeah you your you, age. Do you, You're looking at a child being like, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what it is? What? I think it's because. They can't get women? No, it's not even that. Like, niggas, some niggas have this fetish of virginity, bro. Oh, I know what you mean. They want to be the first of they everything. They want to be the first of everything. What's that called? Like, what's that called? That's like, not breeding. Uh, Is that breeding? What's that shit called when. Oh, fuck. What's that term called? It's like. Uh, it's like when a it's like when an older person like is with a younger person because he wants to, like, teach her to be like the perfect wo- woman for him. Yeah, I forgot I, what that's called. It's not breeding. It's like called, fuck. What is that called, bro? It's like called something. Hold on. It's like it's like on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it was called. It's, it's some shit like that. But it's like like somebody that's like twenty nine dating like a twenty year old one year old because like he wants to be her first. Yeah. So like he can like teach her to do things that he wants. Yeah, niggas, niggas. Oh, um... What's that called? I don't know. Molding? Not molding? Some shit like that. Yeah, but, I like, mean. you know... But even... even Not even with niggas. It'd be women, too. Oh, yeah. Bro, you heard... You know that... You ever seen that uh, that uh, documentary on Netflix? With the, 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 the teacher that had sex with her sixth grade student? Oh, no. Bro, it was a teacher... I forgot where she was. It was a white lady, and um, she was on... I think the guy was, like, Samoan or whatever. And, like, they had... They was... They was crazy. Bro, she said they had sex... Like, I think they got, they had sex and they got caught because I think the teacher asked the parents to like, like take the child somewhere, like to go like somewhere. And they was having sex in the car. And the the, the whole time the teacher had a, a family, like she had four kids of her own already. And I think she was like in her thirties or whatever. Yo, that too, bro. You having kids of your own, and probably then going that to age a, and you're, you're having sex. You're, that sick. is, that's like, that's, that's weird. Bro. <laughs> And she, I think she had, she had, I think she had a baby with the nigga. With the kid? Yes. But the, no, the first time it happened, I think she got trialed, but I don't know if she went to jail. I think she did like maybe six months or whatever. Was it in Texas? I can't remember the state. Arizona. It might've been though. And then it happened. Then she did it again. As soon as she got out and she got caught and like she had, oh, she just no, no. Yeah. She had, her. she got pregnant with it the first time and she got, she gave birth to the baby before she went to prison. Then she came back after six months. And then they did it again. And then she went to prison for like, I think like three, four, like seven years. And they had another baby, but she birthed the baby in prison. Oh, this bitch is wild. Yes, bro. So, and I think like they ended up getting, like she got out again. And like, I guess he was of age. Why are they get, 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 leave her in jail? I don't know. Like, why they keep putting this bitch out? I don't know, bro. Like she only had like seven years. I guess like, like when she came out, like the boy was of age and they got married. They got married. They got bro. married, but then I think they divorced or whatever. But I think she she like died of cancer like recently. So nigga said she got her, she got what karma. was co- karma came back, bro. Cause that's really crazy, bro. Like little kids, bro. Like that's some sick shit, man. It's really it's really a weird world. It's, you know it is them southern them southern states, bro. Oh of course, you know them uh, southerners, you know bro. How them, them niggas be wildin'. Them Alabama people with the you, bro, incest and all they that. They do that a lot, bro. Yeah, niggas love incest, bro. They do I, that I a don't lot. Understand it, bro. You, me and Jay was watching, uh, looking on TikTok the other day. It was um, it was two. There was a, it was a set of fraternal twins, a boy and a girl. They were separated at birth. Like the 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 father took the daughter and the mother took the son. But they lived in the same town, but they didn't realize it. Like, the mother and father, they didn't know they were still living in the same town. So, the kids went to high school together. They ended up dating. And, like, when the, the parents brought the kids home, they was like, what the fuck? They was like, and then they seen each other. Like, the parents, they was like, wait, 
Nah, and they told them like there was there was twins, and now they're getting married. Oh, they said they didn't give a fuck. They ain't give a fuck. They said fuck that. They said I ain't give a fuck. That's why I, that that right there is is sick. I'm not gonna lie. Like once you just realize that that your twin, bro, that's you're your not, twin. That's not, crazy. You're not giving a fuck. Yeah, twin is crazy. That's nigga. Them jeans like, is not good. Them jeans gonna be confused as hell. Like, oh my <laughs> gosh. Baby gonna come out with like three arms yo, and that, like and like webbed feet that, <laughs> and like just yo, face like this like yo that like elephant that man. gene pool gonna look crazy, bro. Like what are you? Mother like, Nature gonna be like, what the fuck going on here? Yeah, this shit don't make like, no sense. You yeah, got the same shit. Yeah, twins is crazy. Like come on, bro. I seen that, and I seen yo. I seen this other thing, like with incest. It was a crazy ass story I seen. So, like you ever watch? Have you ever watched the movie The Hills Have Eyes? No. Have you heard of it? No. So. Or have you ever you ever heard of Wrong Turn? No. Damn, you don't watch no scary movies. <laughs> but all right, so The Hills Have Eyes is basically about like um a group they're they're both basically about like a group of like teenagers that get stuck in like the wilderness. Like one was in the forest, one was in the desert. And the Hills Have Eyes was when they was in the desert and they got lost. So like they went so some people left to go um find help and they left people there, but they didn't realize like there was like mutated humans that was trying to eat them. Mm. So basically that movie was based off like a true legend or story about uh a guy named Sonny Bean in Scotland. So there was a there was in like the sixteen, seventeen hundreds there was like a uh it was a criminal. His name was Sonny Bean and he used to he married a woman in the sixteen hundreds who happened to be a witch. So they was they was doing crime and shit, robbing shit but they would live in a cave in like Scotland, like a like a deep dark cave that was a big ass cave. And like whenever it was high tide, the water would come in. So they would never they were safe in there for twenty or so they were safe in there. So they had kids. They had, I think, um eight kids in total, but those kids like inbred in like breeded with each other. So they had incest. Mm. So in total they had forty eight members in their family. But like what they would do is they would like hunt like people at night, like like couples that go on the beach or like couples that are doing night walks. They'll they'll kidnap them and they will eat them. Oh no, nah. bro! They used to go. They was, you know how they they used to have like carnivals and festivals and yeah, shit. They used yeah, to go yeah. to the festivals and like ransack people. They used to take children and used to eat them for twenty five years. They said they killed over a thousand people. Oh, what and like fuck? and like the um, they would do it in like a sneaky way. Like they only do it like at night. And, and, like, people couldn't find them because the cave was, like, always underwater mm. because, like, how high tide is. But I guess the king at the time, like, had a, had enough of it. So he had a search party after them, and he found them in a cave. And they found 48 of them, like, living there. Like, it was, like, a big-ass cult. And they had, like, ab- around the walls, there was, like, blood. And, like, they, they used to, like, um keep the body parts and, like, for, like, sp- for like other days to yeah. eat them and shit. Yeah. So instead, the, after that, they freaking... They t- they round them all up and this is the first time like they like had to execute this many people because usually they'll tr- have trouble. They was like, nah, fuck that. These niggas need to die. Mm. So they were saying like, but like, yeah, they do. What the fuck? But like, imagine, imagine like, cause you know incest, you don't know how bad it can be. Cause you ever you ever seen that fi- one family in Alabama that's like been inbreeding for like three generations and there's like one guy like he can't speak. He literally barks like a dog. Oh, I don't think it's in Alabama, is it? I don't know where it's either. I, I know. It's, it's the, somewhere it's the, around it's there. The, it's the Whitakers. Yeah, the Whitakers, bro. Like you seen that shit? Yeah, I seen that. Nigga, yeah, dude, that, that shit a, looks crazy, crazy, bro. And, and all his, all his, all his brothers, like you know, die type shit off of obviously complications. But like, yeah, that's just crazy. That's cool. That's Nigga wild. Just barks. He just barks, and they all just doing some like. I understand, bro. Like you know, and drools. <laughs> that's really it, bro. It's just, drool, it's just, bro. it's just a weird scenario. But I don't know how niggas can really just, like, just disregard their entire like family generation. And just be like, you know what? I can have sex with my brother and my cousin. And we will yeah. have fun. Like it'll be yeah. fine. Like, like we, we, we love each other. I don't know how they do. I think they starting to add like letters to the. Nah, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it, bro. Cause that, that's gonna happen one day, bro. I hope not. I hope not. But all right, I got a question for you, bro. <laughs> Oh wait, no, no, I don't have a question. This, this is a, this is a scenario I had. I, I, um, I seen on on a TikTok. So me and you both have girlfriends, right? So they were saying, right? There was a, there was a couple. They was on the podcast, and they was talking about. So if you if you and your girl walking down the street, and you see a nigga like a group of dudes, one of the niggas smack your girl, I'd be like, damn, that shit fat. What are you doing? Nah, he's tweaking. What are you doing? What the fuck is you on, bro? What are you doing? 
No, no, no. All right, Debs, I heard you. No, 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 no. I'm no. trying to think. Cut. This is this is what they said a real man does. He be he says like, nah, don't worry about them. <laughs> Nigga, Prince laugh. No, nah, don't worry about them. It's crazy. Don't worry about them. It's crazy. But like, but if it's a group of niggas, though. Nah, if it's a group of niggas and them niggas, like as big as hell, like that's what I'm saying. Obviously, I can't do nothing. As a, I'm not Superman. But listen, I'm I'm throwing hella Franks though. But nah, throwing Franks is crazy. (laughs) I'm throwing Franks and right. Alright, yo, that nigga's gonna catch up to you. Gonna be on your ass. But listen, I'm be like. Well, obviously, bro, me like, talking to them is not going to... They don't give a fuck. They don't got no respect for me. <laughs> <laughs> they slapped my girl ass and told her it's fat. Obviously, <laughs> while I'm there, obviously, they don't got no respect for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, me talking to them is not going to do nothing. That shit so crazy, li- bro. So, listen, bro. That shit crazy, bro. I'm going to have to, like... What I might do, bro, I might be, like... Obviously, not going to do nothing, but I'm going to be, like, yo, like... I no, don't like. Don't do that, bro. Like, yeah, you know, play like, that shit. Like, like, what can you do, bro? Listen, you got like, that at is least, protection, though. No, that's a form that's of protection. A form of protection. I, at least, I, I, yo, see, bro. This is why, bro. All right, so I, that is a form of protection. Like, you gotta at least you gotta stand your ground. I feel like standing your ground is still like you still standing on shit. Yeah, you know. So I'm be like, yo, like I don't play that. Like, don't like. like that's chill out not, with that. That's shit. not what we doing here, bro. And I'm by myself. What can I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do nothing. So, obviously. I'll just hope I'm in, like, a public area. For now, what? I, I talk my shit. Like, yeah, nigga, you got people right here. You can't beat my ass that bad. <laughs> <laughs> they can't That's what ass. you think, bro. Hopefully somebody Until niggas you. rush your ass, bro. <laughs> Yo, did he, like, like, I don't know, bro. That's just crazy. That's, I mean, it's hard being a nigga, bro. It, it sucks because, like, what if, if you, what if your girl, that type of girl, would be like, Oh, you got to go fight them niggas? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, what you doing? That's crazy. Like, that's a death sentence. That is death. You tweaking. Like, you can't, like, you got to pick your battles. If she's if she expects you to fight, like, four niggas and she wants a nigga like that, that's crazy. She's Man, living in bitch, La La Land. If bitch she's saying the I'm Lulu, Superman, my nigga. bro, you fucking crazy. She the Lulu, bro. Like, there's uh, no way. Like, if if, he, if she goes home and be like, you ain't do nothing, this ain't there, all you doing was up, bitch, bitch, what? What do you want me to do? <laughs> like, be for real here. That's what I'm saying. Like, what am I? What most? What more am I supposed to do? Now I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's why niggas. I don't know. Bro. Like, I seen a video of a group of niggas that beat a nigga ass, and like his girl went on talking like, "Yo, leave him alone." They fucking sparring kicked that bitch or or smacked those. They pistol whipped her. They, they that was a pistol that was in her. Bro, head? bro, the nigga, the nigga, the <laughs> oh, nigga. Yo, shit. it was a white girl. Yes, bro. They pistol whipped her. Exactly. Bro. See, they pistol whipped him. That, that's probably what happened in that scenario. He probably yo, smacked when ass. I, yo, when I seen that, I'm like, yo, what is niggas on? Niggas don't care no more, bro. Niggas don't, niggas give don't a fuck. got no respect. Like, like, yo, the nigga was in on the ground. By the way, he was knocked the fuck out. Not like, not like on the ground, and she's trying to protect him, which is a great, great, woman. great woman, great, great woman. woman. Motherfucker, pistol whipped her. Why? Now they both on the ground knocking the fuck out. Like, <laughs> yo, she was done like this, bro. <laughs> you know how the cockroach would just be dying, bro. Like, she was like this, bro. And I felt so bad, bro. <laughs> I said, no, bro. Why? Yeah, Jay, we ain't getting no fights, bro. I don't want you getting pistol whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas think shit's sweet, bro. Yo, that's what I'm saying, bro. This please. Not- With my girl, please pick your fights, bro. P- pick your battles because you're not the one that's fighting them. Mm. I'm fighting them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just need, really? like, if it's a smaller guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk your shit, bro. Because I'm gonna try to, you know, do my thing. Now, if you lose, then I, I, I don't know, but I can't do nothing too. Imagine your girl like pick her fight, bro, and it's a smaller nigga. That nigga still beat your ass. Nah, as long as I you got know, an advantage somewhere. Yeah, but you don't know that nigga could be your MMA fighter. Like he, he does, he does MMA or does boxing. Because right now I'm now thinking, you get your ass, I'm thinking like this is the scenario I'm thinking about. <laughs> it's like we had a, like a Knicks game or a football game, and like we're like a couple rows up. And like there's a there's a there's a fan down there and Jay's like Jay's a Steelers fan. I'm saying like a Ravens fan down there. He's like, yo, shut up, bitch. Oh no, nah, you tweaking. And then like, but it's like a big ass nigga, but he down there. If I could catch that nigga lacking, if I just jump down, like, <laughs> and I'm like Bro, you say he's him. down there. No, like he's like a couple rows down. Like oh, so like he be like, all right, bitch, shut the fuck up. And he turns back around, nigga jumping. I got I got, I can sneak a nigga right there. You can, but see that's what, a but what you gonna do when he turns back around? Like, I gotta get some I gotta get 
some hits to where like he's like <laughs> to where it's like nigga he's, he's, nigga don't know what to say <laughs> you're done. <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get that, I got that, maybe dirt. I got, <laughs> I gotta get him to where he's like, he can't like grab me. As if he got people with him, damn, I'm fucked up. Yeah, you done. But you know, I got, I gotta get like a quick hit where he's like falling over more, and I'm out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it can't be like a like a, a hit and stay. <laughs> Some niggas could take punches, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. They don't got, I don't know if they can take kicks though. With nah. that, with that velocity coming down straight like nah, real shit, bro. If I'm going to try to sneak somebody, I can't get my legs up that high, though. <laughs> I dead ass try to kick a motherfucker, bro. Kick a motherfucker head off, bro. Like, like, I, like, like, I, like I'm Israel Adesanya, bro. Wait, I'm been fucking, like. Wait, am I pussy if I kick in the nuts? Yeah, you are. <laughs> that is like crazy. <laughs> As a grown ass man, cut. You remember <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, you got that nigga. Who? Who did? When the nigga was getting jumped, bro, I'm about to start crying. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> was getting jumped. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> when the nigga was getting jumped, all right, he wasn't really getting jumped, but he, yeah, he, like multiple of you was on him, hitting him. <laughs> the nick, a nigga, instead of like hitting him, <laughs> the nigga. Pulled his pants? He pulled he pulled the guy's pants yeah. down and stuck his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did see that one. <laughs> Yo. Bro. I think he said. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? No, nah, that's like all else fails. Like you don't want to fight. Yo. But like think about it though. That's the same thing. Like, like think about it. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you kicked you, the nigga in the nuts, bro. That's bro, you, crazy. you getting jumped by three niggas. There's a big ass nigga and two I niggas that's like, my size. Okay, I feel like if you're getting jumped, that's acceptable. That's acceptable. That's a, that's okay, acceptable. okay, 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 okay. But if but what if the nigga you fighting is like two fifty? Two fifty is crazy. Sparring kick right to the nuts, bro. What if it's by accident? What if I hit him with the knee though? Ooh. Like an MMA fight. Ooh. Like I hit him with like a, like a knee like right to the stomach. Yeah, and then you'd be like, "Yo, yeah, that was by accident." That was by accident. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was a, that was a by accident. But it really, like, but it was but really it on was purpose. Really on purpose. <laughs> That's what you aim for. No you cap. got to, bro. Like niggas go around and do that shit. Nah, niggas be having their pride when they fight, bro. Fuck that shit, nigga. Nah, real we shit. We fighting bro. dirty. Once you, once you, once you get kicked in the balls, you can't. Your you can't whole do nothing. It's over. Your whole equilibrium is done. That's what I'm saying. Niggas you don't wanna, know what to do. Bro. Niggas want to square up, punch. No, nigga. Yeah, bro. That nigga, a knee. A knee oh, right there. A knee. Come on, bro. You're shit. done. Popping that shit. Pause. Not, oh, you gay. <laughs> Yo. That right there, you you <laughs> took it too far. They can tweet. Niggas okay. popping that shit. All right, all right. But you know, you know what I mean, though. Niggas, nah, I know. You're not niggas, having kids, bro. Hey, bro. If you go, especially if you're bigger than me, it's over, bro. Yeah, you're not. Especially like, kid, imagine bro. like 6'6. That means that shit. Yeah, bro. My, yeah, yo, where is shit? Like, and I'm getting some punches in while he's like this. Exactly. When he, when he, look, look. Yo, look, I got, look, I got bro. you, bro. Word to me. Flying knee. He goes down, right, like hook right there. Knocked out. Easy. Yeah. Come on, bro. We spin game right now, bro. Yeah. If y'all niggas oh, about yeah, to. Yeah, flying knee. Oh, Why he's like that? Come on. Oh, that nah. He's done. Oh, like a sh- poop. Like right in the Yeah, yeah bro. It's done. over. Oh, he's done. He's, I'm saying, bro. Oh shit. Nigga, we gotta teach classes. Cause Yo, niggas, no niggas cap. learn different niggas, shit, bro. Niggas be forgetting the, the balls is a se- pause. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the test like niggas testicle, bro. That's a sensitive spot, bro. It really is, bro. Niggas don't go for it enough. You, <laughs> you got <it. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't go for Give it. Them, niggas don't go for it enough, bro. Give him a knee or a kick. Something, bro. You're done. Nah, if I'm getting nah, I was <laughs> I'm tweaking. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga was about to say some gay shit. <laughs> nah, alright, bro. You get jumped, right? You getting jumped by four niggas. They like on top of you already. Pause. Pause. You not grabbing you ain't grabbing shit? You gay. <laughs> <laughs> I am not grabbing shit. You are gay. I do not want a fucking handful of balls. You're weird. <laughs> this. <laughs> nah, you got. Bro, you get your ass whooped, bro. There is. Like, what is that going to do? Why at least punch? Okay. Maybe punch, bro. What is that going to do? Grab it? You said grab. You gay. You gay. I, I mean, punch. All right, gay, nah, I'm a, I'm a, you didn't mean that. You meant what you said. You all right, you punch their nuts. 
That's cool. That's but cool. That, that's that's cool. gonna stop it for you. Got other niggas that's punching you shit. Like, Yo, you just like pause. you just you just got aim, bro. That, aim. That's what you got aim for. Like aim. I feel like if you getting jump, like I remember Coach Nav taught me, if you getting jump, you gotta beat up somebody so bad they stop. Okay, but there's three other niggas. Like say, all right, so say I'm on the ground, right? Say I'm getting jumped by four niggas. I got and I'm on the ground. I I got first of all, if I'm getting jumped by three or four niggas, I gotta grab one nigga at least bring him to the ground. Like, I can't be standing up because then I'm going to end up on the ground anyway, so I might as well get to the ground. I'm going to put the nigga in the chokehold and really, like, like until he passes the fuck out. Like, I might get hit in the head, but I really got to hold on. Like, like I Man, might... You're going to get hit. In, they're going to kick you in the head. Like, I might have to, like... I'm like, yo, you don't you stop. I'll break the nigga neck right now. I got I to, gotta, I gotta, like, gel off niggas. Yeah. Because, like... Like just one thing, like like one thing like that, like you done. Yeah, but, but so you think of a murder, cut? <laughs> nigga, if you get jumped, that's the self defense. That is self defense, but well, I, no I got I'm a, laws in Jersey. Oh, there's not. I don't think so. Shit, damn. That's tough. But 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 listen, bro. Honestly, bro, real shit. When I it, when that's it comes to as fuck. when it yeah, that is stupid as fuck. But when it comes to at least I don't think so. Oh. But when it comes to like. Like a fight too, bro. Yeah. No cap. I might not go to hands, bro. I might do submissions, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm saying I might. Yo, I dead might do a chokehold, bro. That's what I'm saying. I think, yo, if I get a grip, a grip on the on the neck, bro. Pause. If I get a grip on the neck, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like don't, that. Like that, motherfucker. Niggas don't utilize. Niggas pride niggas, be in the way, niggas, bro. Niggas, niggas be niggas be going on a on a on fist, a, bro. On a fist, bro. No, bro. Yo, go submissions. Yo, hold that. Yo, you got you got. Yo, let me teach you something, bro. Get the chokehold, bro. Get uh-huh. the chokehold around the neck. Yeah. The niggas got the, his arms though. Use your legs. Straddle it. Straddle yeah. the arms. He can't do nothing. He's done. You're done. He's done. You're done. Now, now his arms gonna, is like this. Now you going to sleep. Now you going to sleep. Say Going it, to sleep. You just got. You just. I'm telling y'all, bro. You gotta work. You gotta work on that shit, bro. Don't be. Don't be swinging, bro. It's, no. it's okay if you. It's okay to slam and throw niggas, bro. Real shit, bro. Like we we we, we gotta stop this pride for fighting. That's bro. why. That's why, bro. When it comes to MMA fighters, bro, they they said, bro, once an MMA fighter got your back, bro, it's over. It's over. Exactly. You're done. Like bro, you, you don't let sh- niggas get your back. Bro, and it be yo, I, it be like like the MMA fighters that's good at was it? Is that jujitsu? Yeah, that's jujitsu. So yeah. jujitsu. Like, the, them niggas look like normal dudes, bro. You will never know. Yeah, bro. They look like nerd. There was a one dude. He was like an Italian nerdy motherfucker. He was like, they said he was like, he was OD. Yeah. Yeah. Ju- jiu-jitsu. Um, Muay Thai um, is like. What, what's it? Muay Thai, I think, is like. It's kickboxing. kickboxing. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's the striking shit. Yeah. Jiu-jitsu is like the grappling and shit like that. Um, There's a guy, like, he, uh, they, they have like no gi jiu-jitsu shit like that. Um, and. What does that this, mean? Does that mean like no gi? I guess it's like no like uniform. No like uniform. Oh okay, okay. I don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah, no. But them niggas be tweaking, bro. Yeah. Is that like, the one with that little Asian dude in there? That be that be getting hit? And he be like, yeah. He be like, nah, that's not nah, that? That, that, that. That like that's um I forgot what is that his Bellator? name is, bro. That's the nigga that fought the little Mighty Mouse dude. Yeah. I forgot what his name was. I forgot what his name was. But no, no gi. Like it's no, it's not MMA like at all. It's just straight hands. It's just straight like grappling. Oh, like, grappling. grappling! Oh, like, okay. Like grappling. Okay. Like you gotta submit your pl- oh, the players and okay. shit like that. Yo, nigga, nigga, that's be- more tiring than swinging, bro. Hell yeah, it's way more tiring. You literally just like constantly lifting a human being, yeah, dead weight, and grappling and like trying to like. But the way that these niggas be hey. going to like from one place and then going to like a submission. It's crazy. They do that shit in a split second, bro. It's crazy, bro. Hey, man. That's why I can't fuck with those niggas, bro. At all. All right. I got a question for you. So, I've been seeing this all over TikTok, and I had to ask. Mom, if you're watching this, please skip this. Please. Do not watch this at all. Oh, oh, but um, to answer your question. What? Uh, with the, with the, what would you do? Yeah. If- I'm going to have to, I'm going to try to stay on my ground, bro. Me too. At the end of the day, I'm going to tell them, bro. I'm going to stay on my ground as I'm walking away. I'm talking about Yeah, I'm be, yo, yo, like, don't play that shit, bro. I don't play that shit, bro. Um, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's all you need. And That's I'm all walking. you need. Don't play that shit, bro. All right. I'm going to ask my girl how she feels about it. If she tell me, yeah, you better beat that. I'm leaving you, bro. Because <laughs> I'm not beating nobody as that that has with three, three, four niggas. Like, yeah, nah, cool, bro. Shit, Pick your battles, bro. Pick my battles. Bro. All right, so mom, please skip this. So your girlfriend and your mom switch bodies. The what are only you talking way, about? The only way to switch them back is to have sex with one of them. Which wait, one are you choosing? Wait, what are you even talking about, bro? 
Do you heard what Where I heard? did you come up with this? Shit? I seen this on TikTok. Your girl and your mom switches bodies. The only way to the only way to switch them back is to have sex with one of them. Is which is which, to have sex with one of them? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Which one is it gonna no. be? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> I just I just got it. Like I just cringed. My body just like <laughs> there was just like a shock in my body, bro. Um I I might have to have sex with my mom's body, but my girl's in it. That that's a good answer. That's a, that that's what I was gonna I pick. I think I have to, bro. Because that the other one is crazy. It's crazy. It's too crazy. It's, it, oh my gosh! Uh, I'm basically, you, you're basically, I'm basically fucking my mom. So I have <laughs> to. I ha- either way, I'm basically fucking my mom. I, so I have to use my mom. Fuck! I have to use my mom. No, nah, I think I have to too, bro. I have to. Because that mom, is bro. just so bad, bro. That is the worst. I'm hearing thing. that's that's the best answer. I'm hearing niggas saying they're gonna do the other way around. No, that's wild. Because I'm I not gonna lie. Because, nah, I'm not doing it. Niggas are selfish if they do that shit, bro. I'm not doing I it. I can't, bro. Hell no. That is that is that is just peak level like, crazy. Like I understand. She like, gonna remember yeah, that. Yeah, she gonna remember that. And I understand. Like, yeah, that's your girl's body, but my nigga, that's your mom inside your girl. That's your mom body. inside your girl. She gonna remember that forever. She gonna remember that forever. That's bro. crazy. I'm that's so not. Crazy. I'm not mm-hmm. letting her experience none of that shit. Bro. Nope. Oh, that oh my god. Yeah, crazy. I don't like this. I'm, I'm, I, I was. Yeah, let's change the subject, yeah, please. All right. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a story to actually tell you. Which one do I want to tell though? All right, I'll talk about this one, right? <clears throat> so, I be so recently I've been going, I be watching a lot of YouTube videos and like you know how I be watching Mr. Ball a lot. Yeah. So there will be a lot of other shit suggested. So it got me. Th- I was I was uh watching some shit about Giants, right? And it made me think. I think you know you know Attack on Titans. Yeah. I think so. Basically, uh, the Attack on Titans show was based on a. Japanese legend of giants during World War II, mm. right? All right, so let me t- tell you about this. So basically, in, during World War II, there's an islands by there's islands by Japan and Australia called the Solomon Islands, and during World War II, that's where the Japanese were stationed there. For and I think, um, so many Japanese soldiers had stories of them seeing like eight to fifteen foot like tall giants with like black and brown and red hair. And they said that they would see them, and they would have like, like they would like they said they didn't look like Bigfoot, like like ape, but they looked more like humans. Like they had the faces and like muscles and shit. Mm. But they used to walk around with clubs, clubs and like weapons. And they said they used to hit hit uh, the soldiers with the weapons, like kill them. They used to drag the soldiers back into the jungle, and they said they used to eat them on the spot. Oh, shit. And you know what they used to call them? Like the Japanese called them like the folklore. They called them titans. titans yeah. So then, so then a researcher went to um the Solomon Islands during the 70s, and he wrote a book about it. So he basically, he asked the locals about the legends of the the giants, and he said, yeah, like, there's, there's, there's um like, the legends of the whole giants is not, like, a myth. Like, there are, there's giants, they said there's giants that live, like, in the deep, deep jungles of the islands, because those are the islands, that, those are the parts of the islands that nobody ever been to. Mm. And it's like, they, there's, like, a, they said there's, like, caves that they said that they lived in, and they said the giants are bigger. There's, like, other bigger ones that is, like, bigger than, like, the the ones that the the soldiers seen mm. and like they was talking about how like stories of like the giants will come into the towns and like the villages and they would eat people like how they did an attack on titan they would just ransack them would just eat them and like they said like um the village leaders and chiefs would send like soldiers out to go kill them but every time they would be less and less and less mm. and then the researcher was saying he was thinking like because right now the island is not really populated heavy. Like there's not really a lot of people. It's probably like maybe four or five hundred people. But it's like a big, like it's like, like a big like group of islands. Mm-hmm. But there's not a lot of people on there. And he thinks that, like over the like thousands of years, the giants were like using humans as like livestock and eating them. Mm. And like over time, like they ate so many humans that they couldn't like breed together. So there was, that's why there's not a lot of like people there. And then there's there's like like the book I forgot what it's called it's called like Solomon Island Mysteries and there's so many like stories about there was a story about a girl who got kidnapped from her village and for 20 years she was a slave to one of the giants and like she got pregnant with the giant's baby and I think the the village had to kill the baby when he was like five because they don't know what he was gonna turn out to be. Bam. So, but like I'm thinking right, the whole giants thing, I I was talking about with Jordan last pod. I think giants they're 
I don't know if they're real today, but I think they were real in history. But like they, we changed up everything. How though? Because think about it. There's humans that were just randomly tall. Yeah. But it's like, how did they get that without the genes? Like, I'm not saying this was like 50 years ago. I'm saying maybe thousands of years. Like there was maybe walking amongst us like bigger humans. Because I feel like they're, you know, like they have them in the Bible. Like they talk yeah, about giants yeah. in the Bible. They talk about it in Native American terms. <coughs> they talk about it in all the cultures. But like, where did they get it from? Like, is it just folklore or is it just like, is it just a story to tell? But like, where do they get the idea? Mm. And like, people say they find bones all the time of like giant human bones. But maybe like, what if they imagine what they did with the giants? They created like dinosaur bones out of them. Oh, and they good. put them in the, the museums and shit. OK, so in that story, it said they said they're still to this day to this day there possibly. But it's like deep in the jungle, like where it's like uninhabitable like you there's can't still people living no. yeah there's still people living there it's like a it's like a normal it's like a but they're like tribal people like they're not really advanced like they're mostly like hunter gatherers type of people still okay so do you know because okay they still talk about stories about it but it's really like, because okay because like you said they were using humans as livestock for mm-hmm. thousands of years yeah oh you know what else you know i just remember i just remember because i was i was re- i was watching the video and they said that it slowed down a little okay, bit see, because because there was a war between like different tribes of the giants and like they started killing each other off. Oh. Over the food, I guess. Oh. So they didn't get to eat as many humans. Like they said that I guess like they was fighting over the humans, like whether they eat them or not. I guess some of them felt bad and they started fighting and killing each other over it. And I guess like the population started dwindling down because okay. they started going down. Okay. But like do you know like what the the story of like how the giants came about, like where like it came out like in biblical terms? Like, they said, like, fallen angels came down and, like, had sex with, like, humans, and they created giants. giants. That's how it all came about. Really? Yeah. Like, how it is. Like, you know how, it's like demigods, basically. So, you, you, me personally, like, okay, as a, okay, giants. Mm-hmm. How, whoa, how how tall? I would say, like, 15. 15 feet? Yeah, 15 feet. I just don't think so. You don't think so? I, don't, I I just, I just, I just... <laughs> Like the tallest man that's recorded is like eight feet. Eight feet, I think. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so eight <clears throat> feet. Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't think that there's niggas that that could get that tall. You don't think so? And, just, and not be and not die, bro. But like, think about it though. Niggas is like, if you if you want to like, you know how big the world is. Yeah, of course, bro. You never, they never. Of course, I, I do, but that's why I believe in like mermaids and like yeah. shit like that. I do, but 16, 15, 16 feet, motherfuckers, bro. I just like, like, might, like think about it. There's like only like avatars. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably like that, but like not blue people. But like, obviously, not like ima- imagine there's only like twenty left in the world. Like you would never see them. You wouldn't. Like you know, like it's just it's really weird, but it's like. It's always like all this stuff is talked about in the Bible and this, that, and the third. But it's always like whenever they see it in the Bible, they always just like be like, oh, no, nah, it's always fun. like we just look at shit that doesn't seem real. Like we just, I feel like we're just so programmed to like think a certain way and to like believe certain shit. So like if we see stuff that that's, that's like outside of what we taught, that we learn and taught and shit, we just automatically think it's like Dig folklore. It's right. Yeah. So I just feel like that, like that was just their way of like hiding. Like that's an easy way of hiding shit. Like you just teach niggas a certain way. And if it's like if they see something that's so far left of what they learned, they'll just be like, "Nah, that shit not real. I definitely didn't see it." Yeah, like because you know how niggas be thinking like they think they mind play tricks on them and mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't know it. So it, you believe it? I think there were. I don't know about it right now. Like I don't think there's like them amongst us, like walking amongst us right now. But I think maybe back in the days, probably back like back in, in like the olden days, like really old old days. Okay. Because I don't know. It has been. I feel like there's something, bro. Something weird, something weird be going on, bro. Yo, you think we'll ever like find find out shit like that though? You think so? Uh, I feel like, like years, it, years coming. I feel like each century and like each decades is gonna be like sprinkle of things. Like I feel like our time is aliens. Okay. Oh, our time. Is yeah, aliens. our time is gonna be aliens. Oh, so you're gonna see like sprinkle. Of yeah, like this is like our like our lifetime is like when like aliens is gonna be like known thing. I feel like. <laughs> you think we're gonna be alive to see that? Possibly. Like I feel like I feel like our parents, like they're like when they was growing up, their idea was like uh AI technology and robotics. 
like the Jetsons type of life. Mm. And I, I feel like them seeing all that, like that being exposed to that, they were just like, that's like them preparing them for what we are right now. Mm. So I feel like them creating like the Jetsons and having futuristic shows make some like, what's it called? What's the word? Um, D, D, desensitize them to like the, the, the world they are living in right now. Mm. Cause you know, AI is taking the fuck over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but like, I feel like for us, it's like, it's more of like, aliens and shit like that because like when we was growing up we watched like all the alien movies mm-hmm. <clears throat> there was a even Cartoon Network remember there was like a part in Cartoon Network where the whole cast was being abducted by aliens and shit yeah yeah, yeah. so like I feel like with, that was us being desensitized to the fact though aliens are real now let's start sprinkling in every day with this generation I feel like the next generation who knows what the fuck about to be yeah but it's weird bro it's a it's a it's a crazy it's a weird topic but I just feel like I feel like, especially what I learned in like HR and like with um companies and like how corruption is. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not like every. I feel like every company, not every, not everybody's doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So they niggas could Company, niggas could, companies be tweaking, boy. Companies don't be doing the right thing. So if those humans doing not doing the right thing. How are we gonna trust the school system for teaching us the right shit? Yeah, you know what true. I'm saying? That's true. You never know, bro. <laughs> but. Uh, what are the questions? I mean, they don't trust. We don't trust the school systems now. Like, I mean, there's like evidence that they, that they like they keep shit away from us that we. They keep know. little shit out. Little shit out, yeah. Like you know, like obviously, like they keep. They didn't tell us that George Washington was a fucking slave owner or some shit. Or like that te- he was tweaking. They didn't tell us that Christopher Columbus. We had to find that shit out <laughs> exactly. years later. Like it's they, crazy, bro. They, they told us that you know they didn't tell it. Like it's like. Like I, like I said before, bro, the the most, Im- like, low-key, the most important people in, like, the cut, like, the most important, like, workers is, like, teachers, bro. Because yeah. those motherfuckers is building the next generations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever they speaking, like, whoever owns the teachers, whoever's teaching the teachers shit is, like, the most important people. And yeah. I feel like it's, like, you, there's no pinpoint yeah. because there's so much people doing it. Yeah. But, like, do you think that in maybe, like, 20 years, like, in the textbooks, they're going to talk about, like, 2020? Yeah. Like, what year? Um... Like, you know, it's going to be like, it got to be like maybe like 15 years. From yeah, now. I was going to say like 10, 20 years. Because like, that's like, that's like we used to learn about 9-11 in the textbooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, it, yeah, 2020, I mean, I feel like it needs to be like stamped as one of the weirdest and craziest like situations. Like, in our lives. A whole, yeah, in our lives. Like, yeah. It was a whole lockdown. Like us living in this situation was just like. Niggas didn't really think about it too much. Like niggas didn't take it no serious. Niggas didn't take it serious at all. Like, like niggas, New York niggas was outside. New York niggas outside. Niggas in Chicago was stealing money from the government with PPP loans. Niggas was tweaking. Niggas was taking was stealing um the checks and niggas shit. Niggas was uh doing like fraudulent like um, scams. Scams with like the with the what was that what was the checks called again? What unemployment? No, what was those checks you used to get just for being in the the was that unemployment checks? What? Like just like like what Donald Trump was sending out. To oh, us. um, what was that called? Mm, Jay, you remember what those checks was called that Donald Trump was sending us like during quarantine? Damn, what, what that the, shit called? What was that called? Damn, fuck, it's crazy. It's like reimbursement. No, it's not. No, what? it was a reimbursement, bro. It was like uh, this start with an S. Damn, stimulus. stimulus, stimulus check. I knew check. it started with an S. Stimulus, stimulus check. Niggas are stealing stimulus checks. It was yeah, a crazy time, bro. Yo, and it's crazy because. I, I just realized that, well, it says, like, yo, a month from now, it's going to be four years since 2020. Yep. It feels like yesterday. It does feel like yesterday. It don't make no sense, bro. It don't make, yo. It, it, you, you see, you see, like, and not only that, bro, 2020 took away a lot of, like, just life in yeah. general, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, 2020 went by fast as fuck. I ain't gonna lie it to you, It did. Bro. You like, know what I also think? 2020 actually influenced, like, a lot of the shit. Because I feel like the reason why niggas got dreads now is because they grew their hair out during quarantine. They couldn't get no haircuts. I mean, there there are people who said, yeah, they started they started their, like, lock journey in, like, 2020. 2020. Yeah. They, like, literally, they literally just grew their hair out. Like, niggas... The re- like, I feel like if niggas didn't, like, had, like, COVID or whatever, like, we wouldn't... Like, we would see niggas with, like... I don't even know what cut. I feel like niggas wouldn't have, like... Dreads or nothing right now. I feel like they'll still have like this type of haircut. This type of haircut, like, or, like, or, like, or waves. Yeah, or waves. Like, like I feel like they wouldn't cut. have. I just feel like 
that time period where the like, niggas couldn't get no barbers and niggas couldn't cut their hair. They was like, you know, let me grow my shit and like just twist it because like mm. niggas was bored. Mm. And it just created a whole gen. Like everybody got dreads now. Everybody. Everybody got dreads or braids. Like it's crazy. Everybody. Like, like, <laughs> like everybody. Every single, like it's wild. Like I remember bro. not seeing, well, like seeing a few niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. Everybody Every, got that shit. Everybody got braids. Twists or like, dreads, bro. Like, like, that's the, that's the hairstyle. Like damn. Like when we grew up, like our, our hairstyle in uh high school was like what flat tops. It was like flat tops, the thought cut, the thought cut. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the whole, like, you know, the Kentucky, the the, the Briscoe shit, the Briscoe with shit. the mohawk, whatever, uh, the sponge, the sponge shit, yeah, uh, and a shortcut, yeah. But like now, now niggas got dreads, like dreads and bra- they braids must be twist. spending bread. Oh yeah, bro, to get their hair done. To get bro. their hair, that's wild, bro. Come on, son. That's a crazy life. Bread to get their hair done, bro. Nigga, we used to get them five dollar sponges, bro. Yeah, yo, just sponge your hair. Just go like out. this. We good. You out? Not knowing yo, that shit fucked shit. your hair up, bro. Yeah, it does. Uh, it makes your hair. It's not really that good. Like it's like it just like kind of like it doesn't really like make your hair curly. It just like entangles your hair more. Oh, that's it. Yeah. It just makes it look like damn. It's not really like it doesn't really make it curly for real. No, it don't. It just don't. It just like it just it, it like literally just grabs your hair and just goes like this, like spins it around, and just makes yeah, it spiky. That's it. But like if you have good hair, it doesn't like it makes it might make it look a little better. But if you have like hair like mine, like it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It look kind of look. Yeah, it just nah, looks wild. I, I I think I I, I did the sponge and that shit. That shit just made my hair kind of spiky. I thought you had like a Jerry curl type of thing. Jerry curl. I thought I thought you had like a little like like. Like, did you use curl activator in your shit? Nah, I, I mean, I had, I had, um, I ain't gonna lie, like, niggas remember the S curls. Yeah, did, that's I, what he I, had, S curls. I, I, I did, you, I did use S curls one year. <laughs> no cap. That shit was beautiful. <laughs> my hair was amazing. Nigga said, wait, yeah, when did you cut beautiful. your hair? What year was that, junior year? Nah, my senior year. Oh, senior year? Uh, Dang, how you remember that, though? What, the, the hair? Cause I keep thinking, I, I keep remembering that video of us in gym class. With Emmett. Oh, sh- oh dude. I with hate the, that nigga, yeah. bro. I hate that nigga, bro. I hate that nigga, bro. That nigga pissed me the fuck off. Bro. But I did, yeah, yeah. I did have s curls, bro. It I had s curls for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. It was, it, was, it was a while. And then I stopped using it or some shit. Yeah. And then I was just, uh, like, just sponging? Uh, sponging. Yeah, sponging it regularly. I wanted to use s curl, but my mom told me not to. I guess, like, it wasn't good for my hair, but I Yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't, but. I mean, for me, that shit was amazing. <laughs> but, but, but I guess, but, I guess, I guess for other, certain people, like that shit did burn though. When I put that shit in, oh, it mobile, did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, it, it did burn. Through, it hurts a little good, bro. That's Yo, but saying. listen, bro. I fought through the pain, cuz my brother had it too. Oh yeah. Oh, I do remember. <laughs> it was me and my brother, bro. Nah, bro. It was me and my brother who did it. Shit. Oh, but I remember. See, I remember. I think the last time I had a low cut, low cut was like eighth grade. Like when I had like when I was actually trying to get waves, but I was a fucking idiot, bro. Like I used to, I used to get a hair. I used to like try. I used to brush my hair so much, and I wouldn't get waves. But I didn't know how to do it right. Like, I didn't put no product. It was just straight dry brush. Just dry brush. And like I would always get like the like I didn't know like what wolfing was. Yeah. So my nigga, I would always just go get a haircut, just cut it all off. All my progress <laughs> is gone. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Brushes I lost. Yo, that nigga. <laughs> nigga, I had the hard brush. Yeah, nigga, I was wilding, bro. My yeah. head used to hurt. That. <laughs> You would use a hard brush yes. on like a one? Yes. I didn't know, bro. I didn't know. Hard brush on the one. Like, I'm like, damn, this shit hurt, but like, I guess it's going to work out someday. Like, shit, bro. Yo, nah, that's OD. I remember I used to have the, was fucking I used to have the skin Scalpel. tight fade, bro. Like, like, the, like the, I had the five. Because you know why? Because I used to watch the Fab Five on Netflix, that documentary. I was like, I want their haircut. Yo, the Fab Five? Like it was just like, about, like the Michigan niggas. Yes, when they just you dead like, ass. Yes, like it's with Jalen Rose. Yes, and all I that. had the Jalen Rose cut, bro. Not the baldy, but it was just like like everything around was gone <laughs> and nah. just the top, bro. Nah. Yeah, I got that was like junior year, maybe. No, no, junior no, seven, year? no, 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 no. Yeah, seventh I'm grade, like, seventh what grade, the seventh fuck? grade. You didn't, you didn't cut your hair, Judy. Nah, nah, seventh grade, I'm seventh like, grade, seventh nah, grade. You tweet. Seventh grade, seventh grade. Nah, that shit was wild times, bro. Hilarious, bro. She was wild times, bro. Damn. Yeah, man. Now niggas just have dress, bro. Yo, mm-hmm. niggas need to... I mean, I'm, shit, the, niggas, I, don't, niggas don't know. They're going to be bald soon. Uh, yeah, but that's that's because they pull it. Uh, isn't that because if they get their hair done, like... Yeah, when you, every time you... Every time, like, I mean, when you re- get your hair redone, you got to pull more. Mm. So your hairline just can keep going back and back and back until it just 
gone. Mm. Especially if they don't take care of it properly. Yeah. It's over, bro. Niggas don't know. There's there's consequences to that shit. But like what niggas also do to like counteract that is like they they um they get that little cut where it's like some of it in the they front is yeah, off front over, yeah. and it's just in the back, yeah, which yeah. is kind of smart because yeah. it keeps their hairline in the front because yeah, so, yeah, it's not yeah. pulling. So that's yeah. just, that's straight, that's straight. But um, what are the stories? Oh, I got a good story to talk to you about. So, <laughs> all right, bro. So I know, Damn. so I know, so I know you Haitian. Damn, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, I know you Haitian. So, 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 so why you sound nervous? <laughs> <laughs> so so I know you're Haitian for it. <laughs> like what the fuck? Why you sound nervous to tell me? So what? do you so do you know about the so do you know about like the voodoo and stuff? Like do you know this nigga bro different type because like there's one ask me about some bullshit. Do you know about voodoo? I know you know about it, right? Yeah, of course. So do you know have you heard about the one like the voodoo shit that's called like Papa Legba or something like that? Pa- Papa what? what? Papa Legba, you ever heard about that? <laughs> you you watch American Horror Story. Yeah, but I didn't. Nah, nah, not really. All right, so there was an American horror was story. It, was it because they um where they turn people to uh, animals? No, 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 it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. But so basically, there's a there's like a voodoo like god. His name's like Papa Legba, and it's like if you do his like ritual, like you get like I think like emo like emotional and like physical things will happen to you like badly. So like there was a they did an American they did an American horror story episode on it. When I think it was like a black girl, she had like an afro or whatever, and she did like the actual ritual in the show, and like she was doing the chants or whatever, and like the lights in the top start flickering, and then one of the lights actually fell down, and like almost hit her, and she was like, "Is this like okay?" Like you talking about in the show, like in the like, show, yeah, like during like during the production, production of it, but like the guy, the director was like, "You know what? Just keep going. That's like, all right. Just do it again." So she did it again, and when she did it, she said she felt like a lit like a finger go up her or her chin to her lip and it touched her bottom lip and her lip got swollen. So she went back to her makeup van and like her and her makeup artist, artist said that she, they heard like somebody scratching outside the door, like somebody's trying to get in the door. And they said like ever since then, like she'd been like seeing or I think um she did it. She did another um I think at the end of the episode they had to do they do the, they did the chant again. But like she was the only one that could pronounce it correctly. So when she did it she felt like the finger again going from here all the way down to the top of her lip and it got swollen again. And like ever since then, I think I don't know if she still she was still on the show, or whatever, but they were saying like they stopped doing it after that. And then recently, uh it was in three years ago, there was a woman in Virginia who supposedly was like a witch and she did the spell and she she died. Okay. Like this is what she did. So what what's the spell? Con- Consist of it, it like consists of like you have to like I don't know if you have to it's like a bloody mary type of thing, no, but like you there's like I don't know what the word I don't want to look I don't want to yeah, look no, up the words yeah, don't look at the word I did not look up the words I was like hell no but, I thought I thought I thought you had to no 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 I did not no 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 I was said it like five times already no 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 but it was like it's like you had to do some rituals so like with the girl in Virginia it was a I guess she had a girlfriend and like she was her and her girlfriend were fighting so she wanted to cast like a spell on her or whatever. So she would post on Twitter like all her voodoo dolls and this, that, and the third, and the spells that she was doing. And I guess like I think on April nineteenth, twenty twenty, they found her dead in her bathtub. Oh shit! And they don't know what happened. Like there was just they just said she was dead. Like like she drowned in her bathtub. Oh no! Nah. So they don't know what happened. And they they said like never. There's like that's why I didn't want to look up nothing. I just seen it. I was like, you know what? Let me not just dive into like I, like say something I don't want to say. Some yeah, shit happens. Don't tweet. Bro. Cause like like. Like, I think we talked about this before. Do you believe in witchcraft? Yeah. Like, that, like, you know, like, I think, because, like, you know there's good and bad witchcraft. Yeah. Well, no. There's there's good and bad witchcraft. What's good witchcraft? It's like, like a spiritual type of thing where they, like, you ever seen, like, you know when, uh, I think, like, palm readings, like, something like that, like, where somebody, like, like gives yeah, you blessings or something that, like that. Is that witchcraft? Yeah, it's, that's type of witchcraft, like, what? where they, like, talk about spells. Really? Yeah, I think, because I remember, no. I got to ask my mom. I got to ask my mom again. Can I be forgetting? Because she no. says... One of our aunts like does witchcraft. Oh, where? Yeah, but the, it's like the only witchcraft that I know is the one. The bad that, one. Yeah, it's the one that really do voodoo and shit. Like they turn motherfuckers into animals and shit. Like I, I don't know. That's the only one that I know. And 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 you know, I asked my mom about it. And she, yeah, people do that. And over there, I'm not going over there. <laughs> Did you, didn't you, isn't that what you were saying last time? Like in like the back countries, like niggas. Be yeah, doing like the farms and shit. Like them niggas back back there, bro. I'm staying my eyes over here. Hell no, bro. Got me fucked up. Like, even... I'm not going to turn to a pig. 
<laughs> you got me fucked like up, you seen bro. that video when I think it was in Africa though. Like they like I guess like I think a man was like cheating on his wife, so like they cursed him and they gave him like like goat legs or something. I, I seen that. I seen that. Shit. Was that real? I don't know. That shit look crazy. Like that, how you it, fake it that? It do look real though. It do look real. But I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know. And, and then, you you believe in that shit though? I do. I do believe in witchcraft. I feel like there's like so you believe that they could turn you to something? Do, oh, I don't know about that. I think they can like give you bad luck though. Yeah. Like I feel like 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 you might not be able to like maybe like find not I don't know to the extent where like you start seeing shit and like they start possessing you, but I feel like to the extent where it's like it's like karma type of thing. Mm. Like you just like you do. You something. don't believe that they could like mentally fuck you up. I feel like that's I all agree. in their heads though. Really? I feel like that's all in their heads because there was a story about a woman in Illinois where she was like, you ever heard of, you know who Charles Manson is? Yeah. Like she was the female version of Charles Manson. Oh. So like there was a, there was a, there was a town in Illinois. It was a very small town. Like it was so small. Like it was, it's basically, basically like farmland. Mm. And there was probably like maybe like 200, 300 people in there. But like there was a woman and she was a witch, but she was supposedly like a good witch. And she had two followers, like two men followers that, she was like that was part of like the whatever the 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 group was called. I, I can't remember what it was called. And she told them that like she was the only good like you, we're the only good witches in like a town full of like many bad, bad witches. Bad witches. Yeah. And like she said there was one girl that was a bad witch and like if they didn't kill her that they, she would curse their entire families for generations. And they so what happened was so she called the guys up for the the night the night it was going to happen. They called her up and they went to her room and it was like a like you know there was like candles in a circle and in the middle it was two big candles one said the girl's name and one said a baby because she was pregnant oh shit so they were saying like you guys like she was like doing like a seance or whatever and like she was speaking in like tongue and like there was like a different voice coming out of her yeah. saying like you need to kill this woman before these candles go down or your entire family will be cursed for generations mm-hmm. this that and third and then she was saying like oh yeah I will cast like these five demons to be with you guys on your journey to help you. And the guy said when they left, he's seen like shadowy figures around. But I feel like that was all in his head. So then they went to the crib. They went to the girl's crib and they snuck in and they got caught. Like the girl's parents, because I think she wasn't that old. She was like maybe like 17 and the girl's parents caught her. But one of the guys got the knife that the witch gave her to kill the girl with started stabbing the mom. Oh, and as he was doing, like, he was saying, like, some crazy, like, 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 demon, get out of here, like, be free type shit. And then the son came in, and the son, and then he killed the son. And then the girl's boyfriend that was living with that, that got her pregnant, came in and shot the guy with a shotgun. So the whole time, like, but, like, these guys is thinking, like, they need to kill this witch to, like, really, like, to, like, stop this curse or whatever from happening to their families. But the whole time, like, it was a whole, like, um lie that the woman made because the she didn't like the girl because she got pregnant by her ex-boyfriend yo what so the two like one the one guy that that killed the two um the mother no the one guy killed that killed the son he the son died but the mother somehow lived he the the son died and the guy died because he got shot in the stomach by the shotgun Mm. but one of the guys that survived he ran out of the crib once it started going like hectic he ran and left and he, him, and the girl went to prison for like 40, 50 years. Mm. But like all of this was in their heads, though. Yeah. Because they were just saying because there was and like it's crazy because the guy, the the two guys, right, the one that was stabbing him, yeah, he was a they call him you know warlocks and shit. Yeah. It's like male witches. He was a warlock from like Missouri, and he said he came up to Illinois to like help the woman like break this curse because he yeah. said he'd done it before. Yeah. But like when he said that, he really means that he murdered somebody before. Oh, shit. Because he did that whole thing that she was talking. He did it before, so that's why he was so into it. Yeah. Because like, so basically, she convinced like a rem, rent a regular person and a Whoa. serial killer yeah. to murder somebody because she had a, she's having a baby with her ex boyfriend. Hey yo. So that's what I'm saying. The the power of their mind is crazy. Yeah, bro. that's crazy shit. Because the niggas swore like he's seen like demons and shit, yeah. and like that's why I'm, I think I feel like Matt. I feel like witchcraft is like the same like witchcraft and magic is the same thing hand in hand it's like because you know how magic is like basically um misdirection you know what i'm saying like when niggas do magic tricks it's really not like like a trick a like trick some, trick like, yeah you, like, it's just like basically like fucking your head up fucking your head up like you make yeah, you, yeah, think, you, about make you think about something yeah. so i feel like witchcraft is the same thing but in like a 
bigger like yeah. like extent to yeah, where like you yeah. have to like you know like uh, uh like uh do like seances and weird mm. shit because i don't know like they, that's what the people doing like the back country and shit bro no i know oh know. Uh, hey man keep that witchcraft away from me bro. Shit, bro like that's why i would never you know that's why i would never do i would never go to those um uh, palm readings I will yeah. never ask nobody for my future. Yeah. Hell no. Fuck that. I don't yeah. want to know. That's true. Like, like a nigga tell me like, oh, you you're gonna be you're gonna have to work a, a lot harder because you gonna you got you gonna have a hard life. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't want to know that shit. Or I'm gonna die in like two. Yeah, yeah, like, come on, yeah, bro. I want to yeah, hear I that shit. I don't want to know that shit neither. Bro. Like you you know that palm reading place on 22. You ever seen that shit? Yeah, but like I just drive past. Yeah, that hell shit. no. Like niggas really go to places like that. And and I feel like most of, obviously most of the they be bullshit. Yeah, they be bullshit. Yeah. Oh, can you um, unplug? You unplug the shit. Did I? Yeah. You just gotta put it back in. That's why I need to get new XLR cables. This shit's crazy. That's why. Niggas ass. There you go. You hear me? Yeah, you straight. You straight. Yeah, I feel like most of them niggas be bullshitting anyways. Yeah. Amen. Like, that's a, that's a, I mean, that's a way that's to. That's a good finesse. Yeah, that's a way to get, you know, because, you know, a lot of people do believe in shit like that. That is true. But I'm, I feel like me. them niggas who actually really do that shit, they be, they be, they, they like low key. Yeah. Like, they not going to make bread off of it, really. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, I feel like. I feel like what the towns that we went to and like when we did that haunted shit, I feel like that's where the witches be at. Yeah, like, I'm not fucking with that shit, bro. Hey, man. Wait. Wait, what'd you say? Fuck you. Hey, wait. I, I just remembered because I don't think we talked about it. We did it? Nah, because like your episode was Halloween, so it, it just came out. But they seen the video. They seen the video. So what are your thoughts? I never uh, got to ask you. <laughs> my thoughts? What was your whole thoughts about it? Like, did you, like, are you ever coming back? No. You will not come back, bro? Mm-mm. What if it was just a, a dark forest? Like, no. What if it's? Just, I hate the woods. You I know. know that. Okay. What All if, right. So 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 listen, y'all. I don't know if y'all know this about me, bro. But like, like, <laughs> listen. I'm not a scary nigga. I, I'm kind of bro, but like not really. Like I'm scared <laughs> of heights. I don't like spiders too much, and uh, I don't like forest creepy shit. I don't do. I don't do shit like that because you know why? It's because I watch shit. Mm -hmm. I watch like shit on YouTube and shit like that. The so, scary shit. Yeah, I watch. I watch scary shit. Yeah. So I'll try to avoid as much shit like that as possible. As possible. Which is respectable. Yeah. Which is respectable, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's respectable, <laughs> dickhead. Look, I did. My like, my thought process during that whole thing was that I will not talk to this nigga. For like I don't know when, bro. I just I just didn't like it. Was it all right, all right? Especially when he was driving. First, I'm of, like, yo, this nigga's <laughs> driving while I'm pleading for help. <laughs> this nigga does not give a fuck. He's laughing at me. Um, like he was laughing at me while first, he was driving. I was driving. scared I too. To, yeah, but it was your idea. I know. Instead of yo, he didn't tell me, bro. And I'm like, I yo, I, I, he I didn't forget. I did. He didn't forget. He didn't forget. He waited till <laughs> we were in Newark, and he told me, "Like I'm like, yo, was it really as scary as you thought it was? Like, uh, like, like it wasn't that bad. We was just like, all right, that shit that we seen. No, I didn't like. I didn't. First of all, I didn't like the roads at all. It was like mad narrow, and it was like dark as shit, dark as fuck. Like, yeah. and and it was like right there. Like as soon as you pull over, it's the forest, bro. That's scary as hell. That's scary as hell. You what? You can't see nothing that comes in or out of that shit. That but shit was it's scary. not like it would have been worse. If it was just me and you, nigga. We have five dudes. Uh, <laughs> this nigga that. What the fuck is that? That's the that's the heater. Oh, the radio. Yeah, nigga got. All right, but um, <laughs> yeah, we had five niggas. But what the fuck is five niggas gonna do? Like you know me, I'm expert driver. Yeah, this nigga's always talking, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Let's be, let's, let's, be serious. Let's, be yeah, serious. let's be serious. Let's be serious. Yeah, let's be serious. I'm dead ass. Let's be serious. All right. What is five niggas going to do? To First of all, we were in a racist spot, too. It was, I, I didn't, okay, I didn't know it was that racist. That, that me, that was my fault. Look at this. 
how you sounded. I, I, I deserve that. But, but bro, shit, we was in a racist town. So if we ever, if we got caught by one of them niggas, well, well, like, what would happen, bro? And there's probably mad of them in that spot. I know. Like, it what was, we going to do? It was, it was Nothing. bad. It was bad. I didn't think it out pretty and much. We, yeah, I know you didn't. But, we, but, but, I, I, <laughs> did you think we was ever going to see something? Like, going in, did you just think it was just going to be a dark world? You know what you? it is? I didn't think we was going to see anything, though. You didn't think so? No, but I, I was so just either. mad that, why am I, if you did see something, why am I experiencing it with you guys? I didn't want to experience anything. See, that was, I'm, I will give you, I'm sorry. I didn't think it, you were going to be that scared. I knew you didn't like the woods, but I just knew that and you. the what? Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was even <laughs> like close to the woods until I seen the picture of it online. I'm seeing big ass trees. I'm like, oh my God. Nah, bro. This nigga, this nigga Darius is. Really, this nigga's not my friend, bro. <laughs> this nigga don't give a fuck, bro. See, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do my homework on my personnel, bro. Because this is why, this is what, this was my thing going in. Everybody loves you and Jason because you and Jason go well together. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? They've been asking. Let's do. Let's try a haunted thing for mm. Halloween. It's gonna be fun. You know, you're the you're the reaction guy. Oh yeah, I gave y'all a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I gave y'all a reaction. They, yo, you know how I many people watch that shit? Yeah. And told me about And niggas is asking, niggas asking for Fritz back. Yeah. My nigga, niggas acting like I was I was like an actor. That was me, bro. <laughs> I didn't want to be there, bro. And and the thing that also pissed me off too, bro. <laughs> None nobody else was with me. But like, <laughs> it was like, yo, like everyone was all like cool with it i'm like yo what am, am i in like a <laughs> alternate universe bro <laughs> like is everyone just not like like i'm seeing Corey on his phone just chilling jason i expected jason yeah tyrone just just videotaping it's tall ass like get your ass like get them i'm See? like yo there's no way that i'm the only one who feels this way i was scared going in because i'm knowing it's like this is real life now like this is not like a haunted house or this nah. is actual like we are like this is some alone shit. But it's like I the one the one point where I got really scared was when we seen the, the light. That Tyrone yeah, Tyrone said the light over. And then the the freaking um the my car started acting weird. I don't think I didn't say it because I don't want to scare you even more. You you did say that after, at the end, yeah. After like you see, he's keep yo like. <laughs> Why would I want? That's a good friend. Okay, but what the fuck am I going to do? I'm still in the car though. I know you gonna be skeeved like, oh, but I don't want. I don't want you to get even more mad and scared. Nigga, yeah, I was pissed. But I understand. So I would have left y'all niggas. So all right. So say we get sponsored, bro. Sponsored, do another haunted one. They asked you, and I gotta be in it. Yeah, they say you gotta be in it. Pay your bread. bread, bro. Ten k a person. Oh shit! I might, I might jump, I might dive right in that. <laughs> I might be head first, bro. <laughs> hey, can we just do that shit with Brett for bread, bro? Hell yeah, that's true though. Hey, nigga, what ten k, boy? I might, I might be. Hey, backpack ready, boy. <laughs> Niggas no go camp. camping. The camping. Okay. Nah, I'm not camping. Nah, camping. Camping, camping is one thing. If I'm camping, I need security. Yeah. I need, I need at least like a crew with me. Lo, camping. I can't camp. Nah, camping is crazy. You know where I got the idea from? What? Cause I remember. So I used to. I remember Jay was Jay was doing nails. She was doing my sister nails, and my sister watches. You know Sam and Kobe. Sam and Kobe, do I know the the YouTubers that always do the the ghost adventure I, shit. I think so. I, I think so. So she I was watching them as she was doing the nails. I'm like, hold on. And I remember Kai. Yeah, Speed. Speed. No, not Kai and Speed. It was Kai, Kai Bruce. Kai Bruce Your and them. They did a yeah. ghost hunter. Show. I'm like, yeah. yo, that's genius. Yeah. Because like we're not ghost hunters, but like. I was just thinking, like, imagine that. You know how funny that would be. Yeah. So that's why that's that was my thought process going in. Yeah, but you, I, what? I don't think they chose like the scariest place in wherever they were at. But it they they chose those, the one that theirs they, was worse. They was in like a abandoned building. Were they? Yeah, they was like in a whole abandoned like complex. Like nigga, we was just in a car. I don't think that shit was. I mean, that's not. I mean, it could be like. It's probably look it, scripted. I, I don't. It might have been, but like it could have been. It's still like it's still crazy. It's still abandoned and dark, and they probably didn't have a lot of people with them. 
but not they a, did have crew with them. I mean, oh yeah, they did have crew, but still though, like they still they're in a scary place. Like your mind go play tricks on you. Hear some shit, you go yeah, automatically think. Yeah, that's true. But the next haunted shit, but tune it, people tune into the next haunted shit next year. If we shoot when we next when we year. shoot, like you know January. Oh, next year. It was supposed year. to be in December. Oh, wait, hold on. You guys still haven't done it yet? No, we haven't done it yet. We're going to... But that that one... Where y'all going? We're going to... Oh, a surprise. Uh, I mean, I, I talked about it on the pod. It's like a... It's basically... It's basically a haunted road that is that goes through a haunted forest that's next to a haunted lake. It's haunted everywhere. It's haunted everywhere. But it's like... It's a, it's a, it's a trail. That, but the... Like, I told Jordan this last... Because it's me, Jordan, Ish, and Jason... So you know them, you us four, you know them niggas don't give a fuck. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, the only thing to worry about is like bears. What the fuck? There's black. They got they they hunt black bears in there. This nigga just said that's the only thing they need to worry about. It's just the bears, bro. Just the bears. It's black you bears know, though. It's black bears. He's gonna be like, ah. He just gotta scare them. No. Black bears, you gotta stand your ground. Grizzly bears, that's when you run and get the fuck out of there. Oh really? Yeah. Black bears is the smaller ones. But it's still a bear though. Like yeah, it's like it's I'm not I'm not downgrading the bear because y'all niggas niggas. <laughs> yeah, on my ass. Nah, but nah, I'm just saying yeah. that that that's that's looking like the next one. But like I just it's I you know it's good no, fun more content because <laughs> fun more fun more that's a crazy word more fun, more fun content, content. Yeah, you know, more fun content for niggas to look at. So if you haven't seen that, tune into that Ghost Adventures. Ghost yeah, go, Adventures, go, Adventures go with it. idiots. Yeah, go watch that one. I guess you know I wasn't. But and will you be on one in the future? Not saying anytime soon, but will you be on one? But like, how scary would it be, though? Like, I mean, what's, there, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's places, bro. Yeah, I can't. All right, what's the, what's the, what's the, would you do a road? I don't even, I don't, I don't want to go into buildings. Because not only that, you guys went outside. Not, like, y'all went out. Yeah, y'all and, don't. And, and scavenged and, like, tried to see what the, and Put a coin in the y'all tweaked. Yeah, y'all don't know when we was doing that coin shit. Fritz was in the front seat. I was, and in when the we front ran, seat. that nigga, I don't know. Niggas thought you got kidnapped, bro. Nah, I jumped out the bad, jumped to the back <laughs> so, with you the know, swiftness. I, I, I had to. I mean, I let you. I should have just stayed in the front. <laughs> I should have just stayed in the front. Honestly, we told Fritz if anything bad happened, us he could drive off. I could drive off, and I, and I was cool with it. Hey, bro, but hey. Adventures with Idiots episode two coming soon next year. More episodes. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do too many because you know we got to build the suspense and shit. Yeah, bro. We gotta. Yo, I'm telling you, we got. We gotta do other shit. Yeah, bro. we gotta do way more shit. You, you, bro. You over Uber, bro. What? What? I was supposed to do the fucking reaction. I know, but I, I. I'll tell you about it afterwards. Oh. Yeah. So I, I got that. That's. Uh, it's like fucking. We gotta. I have to talk to Jason about because we go do that Jason crew. Okay. So we got to I have to correlate with Jason and then Ish had school to finish and okay. so well we'll get that soon though. I got so we got some good videos to react to, bro. We need your reactions, bro. Nigga, I'm I'm ready for re- I like reaction videos. I know, bro. But I want I want to do uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, bro. But all right, I got a question. So, me and you are fighting to the death. I'm winning. <laughs> Crazy. But we get to choose these animals to fight alongside with us. Which one are you choosing? A Kodiak brown bear, Siberian tiger, a polar bear and a black mamba snake, or a rhino and a baboon. What? I'm po- polar bear. A polar bear with a snake. With, with a snake. So you're gonna have you're gonna have the polar bear. I'm picking the rhino and the baboon, bro. Wait, uh, you said rhino and a baboon. Yes, a rhino and a baboon, bro. Now nah, you tweaked. I didn't hear you say rhino and a baboon. Wait, wait, say it again. It's a Kodiak brown bear, so like the big, the big ass brown bears, grizzly bears, the big ass ones. A Siberian tiger, which is like the biggest tiger. A polar bear and a black mamba snake. So it's a polar so, bear with the. You're gonna so, have two animals. So is the Kodiak bear and the Siberian? No, no, it's two different oh, it's like two options. Different. Oh, okay. And then it's a rhino and a baboon. Which one do you choose? I'll let you choose again. Choose wisely, bro. Baboons. Baboons? Are they really bad that crazy? Uh, pretty crazy. It depends nah, on. I feel like my snake going to pause. The snake is going to kill your baboon. Nah, bro. This is what I'm going to do. First of all. What you going to do? Hold on, bro. Let me. Can I pick? Go ahead. Pick. The rhinos going to be the only thing that that yeah that's going to carry, obviously. Yeah. 
Uh, I might get the polar bear for real. You gonna get the polar bear with the black? Look, now this is how I'm gonna cook you. First of all, I got a rhino. Yeah, with the you're not touching the polar bear is not scratching the rhino. That nigga gonna get impaled. We got your big hitter out. Now the baboon is just gonna come jump around. The snake, I right, just yeah. It's killing that. It's not gonna. It's gonna take a minute, but you know, the baboon is gonna get you. I can deal with the snake. Wait, I'm, I'm killing that baboon, bro. What you gonna do with it? No, you're not. You're not killing baboon, I'm bro. Not killing a baboon? No, you're not. You ever seen baboons, bro? Nah. Them shits is the ones with the big ass, the big ass like teeth. A, with the with the red butt, yes, that shit killing you, bro. Yeah, but think about it. Though. I literally got a nah, tank, nah. bro. Literally, bro, the rhino's op. Hey, bro. You, now you you, you could have picked. You could have. The only way you could beat me with that black mom is if you throw that shit at the rhino first, and that shit kills. Yeah, that, that shit, shit bites that, it. Yeah, but that's that's also gonna take the venom. Also gonna take long to even like. Oh yeah, that register. is true. Like that's a big ass. Unless a pull, eh. hey man, you dying? Yeah, man, I, I'm taking a rhino. Fuck it, <laughs> niggas like, ain't gonna I, take my right animal. I, I, I want to take the polar bear though. Like the polar bear is polar bear is wild, bro. But not against that rhino, bro. Rhino versus polar bear. I think at a hundred battles, I think rhino's winning seventy five percent. Damn. Maybe uh, sixty. Yeah, 60. 60, 60. The only way is just gonna be stabbing that nigga. But we'll see. Exactly. Uh, but what can a polar bear do? Like. Polar bear's just agile. It's just going to scrape. That shit might kill me, though. Oh, no. That shit killing you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Might. All right, bro. Said might. All right, I got to... Oh, I got another question. So, can we survive these universes if we had the powers of Mr. Incredible? So, you know, just super strong and shit. That's it. Just base level strength. Okay. So, it's Marvel Universe. Can base we survive... So, I'm Luke Cage. Basically... <laughs> fighting up against Thanos and no. fucking Galactus. No, you need you need more. But then again, Captain America's on there. I know, but Captain America. Ooh, that is true. But Captain America got that shield though, and I feel like he, he just he's just the American hero, so they they yeah, give him I more mean, props. Plot armor. Yeah. So but still, I mean, uh, like I feel like we are gonna die like fucking Quicksilver, my nigga. Yeah. Like, that's how we going to go. Yeah, quick. So, uh, There's not yeah. much we could do. <laughs> like, we're not yeah, bulletproof. Nah, we're not. Yo, yeah, we're not, but are we? We're not bulletproof. We're just strong as shit. Yeah, I think, I think, I think Luke Cage is bulletproof. Luke Cage is bulletproof and strong. Nah, we just. Yeah, no, nah, we're not. Nah, we're we dead? Dying. Yeah, we're dying. All right. How about Avatar? Like, in that world of Avatar? Yeah. You think so? I think, yeah. I think we're cool then. Just because I feel like if. But then again. They're just tall ass fucking yeah, Neanderthals. No, they're not Neanderthals. They're smart as fuck. Or like, native. Damn, that's just crazy. They're smart as fuck. Niggas gonna kill me. They could they could throw they, they could throw about Neanderthals. Them niggas is actually warriors. Okay, and, they're, and, they're tall and, ass and, and smart. But like, oh, I'm not saying are are are, are cavemen. I, I'm not saying that we're gonna be fighting them, but we're we're just gonna we have to live in that world. Oh, so like yeah. if them fucking animals come and attack us, like are we gonna be able to? Oh, hold on? oh yeah, yeah. We cool. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. They, they, they got some big ass animals. Hold on, they got dragons. And shit. They got dragons, dragons and the big ass fucking horses, whatever them shit's called. That was like a big ass tank. Yeah, I don't know. We might. I need to be something proof. That you know bulletproof. Yeah. Yeah, I need to be something proof. Like I, I need to be like impenetrable. That's like, ass. Like I'm strong as fuck, but I'm I can just get stabbed. But yeah, that's trash. That's so ass. That's trash. Like if I could die, I'm only die. See, that's why, like, superheroes, like, when they are super strength, like, they give them impen- penetra- impenetrable. Yeah. Impen- to bullet- imp- yeah. Impervious. Impervious? To, like, bullets? To bullets, yeah. exactly. Like, they, like, they give or them Or they have them good combat skills. Yeah, like- because they can't. Yeah, or that. Because, like, they, like, that's, like, what the fuck? Like, like what, you what more can you do? What can you do? You could die by a gun. You're not really that super. Even though you got super strength, Russia? you're not really that super. Russia? But. But um, you think so? You think you're surviving that though? I think I'll survive mm-hmm. a couple of. I mean, if they survived and they, if if I have like their skills, yeah, type shit. Mm-hmm. If I have their skills, I'll definitely survive because I have their skills and super super strength. 
Yeah, I think I'll be cooler. I'm not gonna I'll lie. be cooler. I think I'll be cooler. But if I if I'm just especially like, when the humans come and try to kill us, I'll kill. Oh, I'm I'm fucking oh, them wait, up. No. Oh, bullets. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they do got machines. Like, yeah. Uh, damn, that's so ass. Yeah, that's ass. Nah, I need impenetrability, bro. Okay, that's not. But I, but I think I can survive that world though. I think I'll, it's possible. I probably survive like a couple years. I'll die an honorable death. Yeah, niggas gonna kill me off like off some shit like an arrow or some shit. Right, that's ass. I'm str- I'm strong as fuck. I I'm die like, from an arrow. Damn. That's so ass. Yeah, yeah, I'm dying. Okay. Bro. How about the boys universe? Hell yeah. I think. No. Wait, we got to think about it. Bro. Because the boys universe, they're they're sick. They're they're really, really sick superheroes. Yeah. And you got to fight against like the government because yeah. like them niggas be sabotaging shit. Yeah. So like if I'm not doing what they want, they could just take me out of there. Yeah. And you're not impenetrable. But I could... Be, but oh damn it, they might fucking test like like in that Gen V shit. Did you watch Gen V? Nah, you I started it. Yeah. I started it. I, 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 I actually started it, but I n- I never. You gonna love it's great, bro. It's great. But yeah, they're gonna yeah. I, as long as I'm doing my job, I think I can do. I think I could maintain. But I don't think I ain't gonna be get bread like Homelander though. Like I ain't gonna be like one of them. I'm gonna be Yo, like the you're, side character. You're, you're gonna you're not gonna get bread. You're barely gonna get bread. You're gonna be like like. A train like, is a A train only has super speed, but he's fat. No, but he's really, really fast though. Yeah, he's really, really fast. Like I feel like that. Like, like I'm just gonna be really, I'm just gonna be like a local local superhero, like in a random country. They're gonna send me to like Afghanistan or some shit and just have me out there. That nigga Homelander is gonna kill you. Just and that's what I'm saying. Him. And yeah, he will fuck. Me. Like if I if I step on, like, I gotta stay away from him because he can really <laughs> kill me. But I think I can survive in that shit long enough for a normal life. Speaking of the boys. Ain't that shit coming out soon? Yep. Shit fire. Can't wait, bro. I finished Gen V. Finished all that shit, bro. Now I'm ready for the boys season four, bro. Yes, sir. Well, need well, that, bro. Well, uh, when is it coming out? February, I think. February, January. One of those days. One oh, of those months. So it's coming soon. Oh, speaking of trailers, you seen that GTA 6 trailer? Yep. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited, but why the fuck 2025? Why they you know, it like You know, that? Jordan actually, like, prepared me for it because he was talking about it on the pod. He was saying, like... He called it. He was like, yeah, they're probably going to say 2025 because, like, I guess when the other Spider-Man trailer came out, like, two years ago, it said, like, it was going to come out this year. Yeah. Like, but, like, when, it, when it's, like, movie trailer, like, uh, video game trailers, they usually, like, say, like, like it's going ha- to come out in, like, two years or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I kind of expected it to be, like, I didn't expect it to come out this year. Yeah. But um, I, I like, I like excited it. For it yeah. I, I like it. Can we be streaming at that point so we can fucking yeah. niggas watch us, please? Yeah. yeah like, yeah, goddamn, yeah. bro. <laughs> Shit. These niggas, <laughs> niggas be asking about video game channels and niggas be like, oh, we gonna be there. It's gonna we're gonna be our own speed. What nah, is the speed? I don't know. <laughs> Zero. Like, like fuck. We just not doing it. We just be it. playing video games for fun, bro. Yeah, we can't be doing that shit, bro. Come on, bro. I, I, GTA six, we I, yeah, by then we need to. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We need to. Nah, Next, I feel like we need to, bro. It got that's gonna be fire, bro. But it because it's like but we gotta build it up though. Yeah, we do. But it's like games right now are so like it's it's in a bad space. Like, not Fortnite, not that, Fortnite, not that bad. It's not that bad, but now that they took off the old map, it's not the map. New map is not bad. I just you know what I don't yeah, like. But that's what. But when they brought back the old map, that's where it was like. I heard he, was, like everyone was playing. I heard they was bringing it back. Like next year, or something. it needs to be like a playlist. Like niggas, like that's what niggas want. Yeah, that's what niggas want. So, but the only thing that I have a problem with is all these bots. The bots just kill me. That's it. I I don't like the bots. The bots kill you? No, they don't kill me, but they're just annoying because oh, yeah. like now these bots they follow you. Oh, they do. Like you know, before like if you like get away from the bots, like they'll just like stay in the area. Nah, these niggas will venture off. Oh, for real? And like hunt you down. Yes. Oh, for real? Like it's just so annoying. But yeah, so the boys are we gonna survive that shit? Nah. Nah, you don't think so? I think Not I can. Me. I think I can. Not me. All right, all right. How about how about the DC Universe? No. Oh, wait. No. DC Universe is not that bad. The fuck? I mean... Okay, which, 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 which hero you got, bro? I mean, which, which villain you got? Mm, I'll, I'll get fucking um, Brainiac. Nigga, what? This nigga said Brainiac. All right, let me let me let me Brainiac. Count Vertigo. Who the fuck is that? The the nigga that uh the nigga that he's like a 
he's the nigga that fucking um makes niggas like his powers like makes niggas like like fluster and like they like get knocked out or some shit. Is it? Yeah, you know watch Young Justice, the Count Vertigo nigga. Bro, I don't oh, yeah, remember. You, yeah, you haven't watched. Like, I be watching. I be rewatching that shit. Yeah, I yeah, I don't remember. Like I watched it probably like one time. Like I watched the seasons and shit, and uh-huh. like I never like went back on it. Okay, okay. Um, right. but that's it. Yeah. Even that, but you I, could die off of that. You could, but I just feel like he's just gonna keep. Like I, I feel like I can find a way. I can find a way. I don't think so. DC, bro. I, I don't feel think like DC is the same. As, I mean, it's not the same as Marvel. Marvel has. The vi- way, be- way, way worse, worse villains. villains. Like them niggas, they get threatened by the world every day. But my nigga, if Joker comes to you, you're done. Yeah. If, if uh, what you calls it, even if Harley Quinn goes, to you, you're done. Nah, no, hell no, I'm killing that bitch. Yo, Harley Quinn. Joker could. I mean, I, Batman could have killed him so many times. Killing you. Dead shot is killing me. One shot. The thing is though, also, bro, you all, you have super strength though. Mm-hmm. But do you have like the skills? I'm training with Batman, bro. Okay, see, see, you gotta reach out, go sign me up, my nigga. I'm, I'm going there. Look at, you find a way, bro. You can find a way. What if I get fucking uh, uh, poison ivy? Poison ivy will do you bad. Nah, she dying, bro. Nah, set poison that, ivy. Set that bitch aflame, bro. Nah, poison ivy do you bad. Batman just gave in because she a baddie, bro. Yo, Batman, Batman. Could have really killed Mad or them niggas, but that nigga just. Yeah, I hate. I actually don't like this the 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 superhero thing that they can't kill bad guys, bro. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't you think the world would be a, a better, better place? ass place like if there was no Joker? I don't think they thinking for real, man. They not thinking for they real. They not thinking bro. with their minds niggas, for real. They thinking. Them niggas, them they acting, reti- bro. Oh, I was about to oh tweet. damn, this nigga tweet. Oh shit, I don't know, bro. But I'm just saying. I, I don't know. I, think, I don't think I'm surviving. You don't think so? I think I have a good chance. Because maybe. if Doomsday comes my way, it's over. Doomsday comes your way, it's, oh, over. it's over. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. That's why I put gave us some powers, because like, now we're it. in the fight. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Now we're part of the Justice League. Are we going to survive these fights? No. Man? That nigga's going to call you. Like, <laughs> I'm just hoping right. they're going to beat my ass. And like, you remember when the nigga, uh, when Doomsday came in and was fucking up the Justice, Justice yeah. League and Superman like stopped him from like killing him completely? Hope that'll be me. <laughs> That'd be me. Like, just please spare me. <laughs> spare my life, bro. Yo, that is. But no, I was I was thinking about it because yo, I like, bro. My one biggest goal, like, like, like God willing, like this podcast gets to where I want it to be or where it should be at. Mm. Like, at the time, I want to create like either a comic or a superhero type of movie, bro. Mm. You know what? It, a what, movie? Not uh, like you oh, know, an, like an animated type of short thing. Yeah. But I wanted to be because I I seen. I seen that nigga Mark. He's making like a like a yeah. manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want like, this. This is what I, I want to create something where it's like, like it's like a group of mercenaries that does the job, like the dirty job, dirty work jobs for the government to hide their secrets. Mm. So like all these niggas have powers. Like like one like there's like probably like six of them. One of them, two of them were like government experiments. One of them has like connections with like the spirit world and like the demons and shit like that. Mm-hmm. One of them is like a uh, veteran marine, like she is like a sniper or some shit. And the other one's like the leader. He's like a, he's like sent down from like a like an alien or whatever. Mm. And like they're just they're like mercenaries who do the they're like the men in black who do the government's dirty work. Dirty dirty work. work. So whenever yeah. like a government like conspiracy or whatever comes out of them like either killing somebody or they're like monsters or whatever, they go they have to fix the problem. Mm. And like oh my god, I have so many like, so many thoughts, bro. It's just I I, <laughs> nigga, I just need the excited. I just need the resources, bro. Yeah, bro. I just need the resources, need the resources bro. Look, there's gonna be a backstory of like another character that came out of nowhere that was part of the group that got okay, shut so out. Is it gonna be based on like uh, you, me, uh, or like us? Like maybe it, so maybe somewhat surrounding a little bit, like the, mm-hmm. like the group version wise, yeah. But like not really towards like it's gonna be like like I wanted to be like. You ever watch Vox Machina? Uh, no, nah, I you, never watched it. You should you watch that. That shit it. is great, bro. I watched that shit twice, my nigga. <laughs> I watched that bitch twice, my nigga. Yo, what's with you with me, man? And we watching shit. Cause like, I be, cause I be editing and I be having nothing else to watch. I'm like, you yeah. know what? Let me rewatch. I I rewatched Young Justice, not the whole thing. I like I stopped at like, cause I used to when I go on the the stepper, I need to watch something so I can get my mind off like me like doing cardio. Yeah, being hurt. So like, yeah. So like, I I watched the first season. I think first two seasons of Young Justice over again. But I, I really rewatched the whole thing. 
And then I rewatched Invincible twice, like before the new season came out. And then I rewatched Vox Machina twice. Because, yo, that shit is just so heat, bruh. It's an anime, right? Uh, it's like DC AMU type of vibe. It's like that. Like a Warner Brother cartoon type of oh, thing. Okay. But that shit, that is, be- that's, that is the type of thing I want, bruh. Mm. That shit will be fire, bruh. One day, though. One day, God willing, we're going to get there. Um, bro. Speaking of, like, uh, superhero shows. Yeah. What's the best superhero show you think? Ah. Uh, uh, real life and, well. Real life and cartoon? I'm, I'm going to do real life and then cartoon. Um, Real life. Honestly, my real life, I don't really watch that much because I didn't really watch like Green Arrow and like and The Flash, Flash and shit. Yeah. But it would probably be uh, right now. I might be just recently biased because I can't think of one. It might be The Boys, bro. The Boys? The Boys is a great show, bro. Because one... It's very realistic, and it really portrays how life would be if we really had superheroes. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be sunshine and, like, these niggas is good and they want to save. Like, nah, they're, like, we're evil people deep yeah. down on the inside. Yeah. But if you give these evil niggas powers, they're going to take advantage of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Money, power, nigga, this, this is how it's going to be. There's going to be corruption. Corruption's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Even in superpowers, bro. Like, they was, they was trading niggas like there was the NBA, bro. Yeah, bro. That shit was wild, bro. Like, yeah. that shit, like... Like, you finished The Boys, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, but when you watch Gen V, but it's gone. Like, that shit is what? That shit is great, bro. But I think I think it would be The Boys, though. Okay, so cartoon. Cartoon-wise? Young Justice. Uh, either... I have... I have three. Okay. It will be Teen Titans. Yeah, okay. Teen okay. Titans. Yeah, yeah. Young Justice. And... I would say recent recently I say Invincible. I say Invincible. Invincible? Invincible is really good. Because I like how it is where it's like so we're so used to cartoon like cartoon like superheroes to be like so like kid friendly. Mm-hmm. Nah, these niggas is like getting ripped yeah, apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this like this is like very it's like it's very great, but it's like and it's like I like how they're like opening up like in even though there's like one storyline. Different episodes go to different Different areas. areas, Like the first episode of season two, that's when like the the black guy that can go. Oh, you didn't watch it yet? No, nigga, sleep. I'm not watching it because oh, it didn't play by play. Like oh, well, not anymore. It's it's done now. It's done now. Okay, cool. 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 I was waiting for it to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can watch it. Uh, I didn't want to wait for episode to episode. Watch it when you get home. I didn't know that. That shit fucked me up. I was like, what the fuck? Where's the rest? I was so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mad, bro. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Okay, cool. As long as it's done now. Nah, cool. so it was great. So that, that'll be mine. That'll be mine. I All think right. that'll be. It. What about you? What's your, what's your favorite like real life superhero? in real life? Hands down, mm-hmm. best <clears throat> best superhero movie show I've ever watched. Yeah, and still watching. I, I I'm rewatching it. Mm-hmm. Smallville. Is that the that's the one with Superman? Is that really that good? Oh, I love it. Is it really? I love it. Ah, uh, what are you watching Small, on? Uh, Hulu. Hulu. Okay, okay. Smallville is amazing. The only thing that would be as close to Smallville mm-hmm. would be The Flash. Really? Would be the Flash. Wow. In my in my eyes. Wait, in like my uh, eyes, when it comes to in real life shit. The CW Flash? Yeah, CW. Wow. CW really? Flash because I don't know, the CW Flash is the only thing like I watched Green Arrow and shit like yeah. that, but it it was eh. You know, it was cool. I feel like they could do so much more with it. Yeah, like, they like, could have did way more. Like, like I feel like Titans could have be could have been way better. Oh yeah, Titans could have been so good. I literally stopped watching after like three episodes. Titans could have been so good. It could have been so um, good. But yeah, um, like you know, Jay watched that all the seasons of The Flash. That that it's amazing. Yeah, she loved it's, that shit. Bro. Yo, bro, it took her like two months to finish. Yo, I'm gonna rewatch it because I'm like, it it got it got a little stale. Yeah, but it but I'm telling like probably the first four. How many seasons are there? Nine. The first that like the first four or five seasons is peak. It's peak. But like I just for me the reason why I couldn't get into it too much is because like I'm so used to, like the way they film it it reminds me of Power Rangers. Oh, okay. So like I'm like I'm so I'm used to like the boys 
and like the, these other like different like like different like I'm just so, so used so so you so you so you you're not with the like the PG yeah the PG just like uh, I like look I like movies way blood not with not with blood but like I just like seeing like like cool shit like I like I like like I like like different concepts and I like different like like fight scenes and angles or whatever fuck mm-hmm. like it make it like it looks cool mm-hmm. and like I I just like that type of thing like I just feel like every time I watch the Flash it just reminds me of like it just looks like. You know, like a regular, yeah, TV, like show. regular TV show. Like, like, I, I I completely understand you know it, I mean? but but the I mean the reason why like it was so popular to me is because like first of all, it, prior b- before Flash came out, I'm like yo, prior before like that shit came out. Yeah, I'm like yo, they need to make a Flash show, and that and that shit that shit didn't come out. Like they had a flash show probably like back in nineteen nine or early nineteen yeah. nineties or what whatever it was. Mm-hmm. That show was ass. <laughs> and then like it was it was cool, but it was it was ass. But um yeah. like when that shit came out, I'm like, yo, I waited for every episode. I, I loved it every mm-hmm. time, bro. Really? If if a, if a show if I have to wait for an episode for if I used to wait for like an episode each week for a show, bro. Then it was a good show to me, bro. If I had to wait, bro. That's but, true. But Smallville, that's just fire. All right. So what about car- what about animated? That's the thing. I didn't. I didn't watch too many crazy animated. Probably Batman Beyond, bro. Batman Beyond is one of the best ones. Probably Batman, Batman Beyond. Beyond. I, me and my coworkers watch that shit at work all the time, bro. Batman, like right now. Or we we start we was watching a couple episodes because one of my. Uh, one of my boys at work, he was watch, he was rewatching like all the animations, like he watched Spider Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like he was at Batman. Spider Man was great too. So I was just watching it with him. Yeah, bro. Uh, I don't know if you watched like the Ultimate Spider Man or whatever. No, nah, I didn't watch that one. Great, great. But Batman Beyond is one of them ones that mm-hmm. isn't that like in the future. Yeah, mm-hmm. like Terry McGinnis. Yeah, and 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 Batman's old and shit like that. Yeah, it's one of them ones, <laughs> like yeah, one bro. of the best shits I've ever watched. No cap. So so probably Batman Beyond probably. Okay, probably, that's good. That's, I ain't mad at that. Shit. I just think like Young Justice was good until like they started like, like towards the end it was like not as not as good. Eh, it was like maybe season how many seasons are five? Is it five or four? The one before the last season I didn't like that season. Mm. Like I think that was the one with like Aqualad and like they was like fighting like the yeah, yeah, yeah. the underworld and shit like yeah. that, that. But like the the beginning the first two when fucking oh my god when Wally died bro. Mm. And Artemis, oh mm. damn, bro, that shit hurt my soul. <laughs> that shit hurt my soul, bro. I'm yeah. like, no. When them niggas was undercover and shit, bro, and like she didn't even want to go back in the game, but they had to do it just so they can like expose the light or whatever that shit called. What's that? What's that? What's that? Green girl, McGann. McGann, yeah. The, the, when is she dating? Uh, Connor. Uh, yeah, yeah, Connor Superboy, Ken- right? Superboy, yeah. yeah. Damn, bro, hit different, bro. Is it? Wait. Oh, okay, no. Nah. What? Uh-uh. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. Wait, what? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what other shit do I have to talk about? Do I got more? I got... Uh, I'll probably talk about... I, got I ain't gonna lie. I had a crush on him again. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Ar- wait, 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 wait. Yo. Ar- nah. Artemis. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't know. There was... Artemis is baddie, bro. No. <laughs> Yo, McGann did something to me. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Especially when she did it, like she turned into her ungreen for oh, when wait. she wasn't green. Yeah. <sighs> I'm like, yeah, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, McGann did bro. something to me, cuz. Hey man. I was pissed off. I'm Artemis like, was underrated, but they ain't she didn't get the appreciation she needed. Yeah, though. nah, she did it. I, I fucked with McGann though. More than Artemis? I don't even Yeah. I fucked with him again. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. All right, bro. I, I, got a, I got another question for you. Um, so God is giving you a hundred billion dollars, but once He gives you the money, He tells you that you will die from being struck by lightning. Like that's how you're gonna die in the world. Would you take the money? No. You want a hundred billion dollars for it? No, you no. Nah, Are you crazy? Nah, I yeah. am. Why not? Cause struck by lightning. Nah. What you mean? It could happen when you ninety. You lived a great life. Yeah, but bro, every time it rains, my nigga. I just don't go outside. Yeah, but 
you don't know what's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna, I know it's gonna happen. If if obviously obviously but if like, you, but wait, when it rains, it don't really. It's not gonna. Get, what it's if not it guaranteed. starts raining and starts thunder while you're driving? But like, if you don't see lightning, you good. Nah, I'm not doing that. What you mean? You got a hundred billion dollars, bro. You literally Elon Musk. I don't give. There's no fuck. way, bro. It could happen in like 30, 40, 50, like 70 years, bro. It might not happen tomorrow. Nah, you're bu- no, Fritz. No, there's no way. There's there just, is a way. What do you mean there's a way? It's like doing it, bro. A hundred billion dollars. He's just telling you how you're gonna die, bro. Yeah, but what if he said you're gonna die in a plane crash? I ain't going on a plane. What if the, what if it's like when a, a plane crashes into you while you're driving, but you're gonna oh, die? Shit. You're gonna die from a plane crash. Like what? Like what if that's the like what if that's the guy forbid? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you never fucking know, my nigga. <laughs> I might be going out with a lightning strike. There's, I just don't know. Like, Big, that's hard. Every you time it like, starts raining, my nigga, I'm gonna be, be PTSD I'm be, from I'm the a, fucking. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be scared. Nah, bro. Every time it starts raining, especially when I'm driving, what if it hits my car or some shit, bro? Blow, blows up my car. <laughs> my car blowed up. Like, 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 what can I do? Like, you I got, mean, yeah, you don't know when, but. Got bread, bro. Imagine if it's not even. You said, "What if it happens? What if it only happens when you're like, cool, tw- twenty or, or like uh, ten, twenty years from now, bro?" Man, I, I went out like a G, bro. Bro, and not only that, what if instead of you didn't? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? Right, you were supposed to die at this age, but he told you. He told you you're gonna get struck by lightning, but so you die earlier, bro. What if I die later? Yeah, exactly. But you don't know. Yeah, like, but think I got a hundred billion dollars. <laughs> Yo, fuck? Nigga, nigga. Nah, I can't. Do I can literally give every person in the world a million dollars and still have a lot left over. Yeah, that's that's good for you, bro. Niggas is crazy. I niggas is I don't know. I don't know. Nigga, I don't give, me know the, bro. give me the give me the money, bro. Give me the money, on, bro. Yeah, bro. Give me the money, money on, bro. bro. All right, I got one more question, so we can end this pod, bro. So, would you rather every food you eat, it will be literally like Viagra or a laxative? Oh, shit. Viagra. You're wilding. Viagra. You're bugging out. A laxative? Bro, you shitting every day. Nigga, every time you make dogs, you get hard, bro. Good. What you mean good? You walk around nah, like that. that's going to be hard as fuck, bro. Exactly. But, but you got but you got to. You got to. That no, you walking around like that, but you're going to have pants on and you're going to have like, you're not going to have But like you, you got to think about it. You horny now. All right, that's why I got my girl for. Okay, but like, what if she's like, nah, nah? Then that you got you got you got. You but got, that shit you lasts for a, a, a grip, don't it? Yeah, but listen, and what if? But there's think about it, bro. You you, you think about it. Think about it. Think about it. You're not gonna be able to eat outside. What you mean? They got bathrooms. Yeah, but there's you got it. Yo, you're not gonna. What if someone's using that shit? What you mean use that shit? They got other they got other restrooms, bro. Nah, nah. I use public thinking. restrooms. Huh? I use public restrooms. There's. Nah, bro. What you mean? You me, look, bro. Viagra, I Fritz? like shit in my house, bro. You you tell me you ain't never shit in public? Of course, but I don't prefer it. But I like, hate it. What do you mean you hate it? Why? I'd rather hold it. Nah, you're wilded. I'd rather hold it. Nah, bro. I, I just did like nigga. Ever since <laughs> I, I got in college, home free. <laughs> Everything my home, nigga. <laughs> Every place my home, bro. There is. I do. I really would rather hold my shit than 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 use the public, bro. College, bro. When college came, it was only bad in high school because niggas know me. Niggas don't know me in college. I take a shit. This thing, whatever, whatever. Niggas don't know what the fuck in here, bro. <coughs> like, come on, bro. You tell me every time you eat food, it's going to turn into vibe. You just going, nigga. That's going to fuck up your mental. Yeah, you know, Matt. You know how much sexual frustration you going to have? <laughs> Do you always get horny when you use Viagra, or does it just dick get just hard? I think get, get get hard. Exactly, you might not get horny, but your dick is just hard. <laughs> exactly, you're not thinking about it. You're not Nigga. horny, but that's not a rhino. A rhino gonna get you horny, bro. <laughs> but, but, but Viagra is just gonna get you. It's gonna have. I think it's just uh. Uh yeah yeah dick get hard bro. Nigga, you can't you can never wear sweatpants bro. again, bro. A nah, simulation. Yeah, uh, yeah, stimulation. Stimulation. Oh. Yeah yeah just 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 blood stimulation. You, you can know, never wear sweatpants again. 
Nigga, that shit no, rock, bro. Yo, but think about it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. What? Think about it, bro. You gotta have wear multiple underwear <laughs> for that. <laughs> think it's gonna think it's gonna prepare for the for the for the good eats. To eat. <laughs> you gotta prepare to eat. No, bro. You gotta have multiple underwear. Maybe two. Nigga, two one day you gonna forget. And now you'll meet out in public. Me, I just gotta go. All right, my fault. I gotta go use the bathroom. Fuck, nigga, literally. Nah, you're not gonna have to use Bro, laxatives is good laxative, for you. Laxatives, laxative also, like, it's, it's not, it's like diarrhea, bro. I know, but like, it cleans yeah. my system out. Now I'm good. Yeah, but you can't all, you're, you're eating three times a day. No. Exactly. No. You're, no, no, you're eating no. three times a day. Okay. So you gotta think about it, bro. You're, 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 you're like cleaning, uh, supposedly like cleaning your system out. Like three times a day? Fuck it, bro. Just keep daily. I feel like I don't eat think. My, I, drink my electrolytes. Eat my food. Think, I'm good. I don't think that's healthy. That's not healthy. Nigga, you're meat. That's why up. people don't. That's why people don't take laxatives regularly, my nigga. If they wanted, like, it's only for constipation. I feel like you could die off of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. I feel like no you way. could die off of There's that. There's no way you could die off no damn laxative. Bro. Overdose of laxatives, bro. That's I feel a, like that's a crazy death, bro. Bro, really? Don't put bro. that in the obituary. I feel like, bro. Nah, I feel like no that's way. what's gonna happen, bro. If you continue to you take You don't think you can't it. die from being from eating so many viruses? Nah, I feel like you can too. I can. But your listen, meat gonna but hurt, listen, bro. How many times do you eat a day? Maybe like once or twice. Okay, so you look. See, I'm cool. You eat three oh, yeah. times a day. Nah, I, I, I eat like probably twice. Nigga, you yeah, you you eat a snack at at work, bro. You 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 you. Oh, now you, yeah, exactly. Now you got a shit. Oh, I could go shit, but yeah, you you do your job and you hard, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> niggas is crazy. Oh, niggas is wild. Niggas is crazy. Yo, what you been doing? Fuck <laughs> yo. Sometimes you get them thoughts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, no, bro. Oh, no. Niggas is crazy. It do it different, though. It do it. do it different, bro. Niggas get flashbacks. You just think about what happened, bro. Like, what I did, bro. Now you are. Now, now you got to work. And you, like, what you want to do? You got work through it. Nah, you got bro. work through it, bro. I'm picking that laxative, bro. I'm taking that laxative, but. You got oh I, for, I almost forgot we gotta the do this spelling bee bro the spelling bee shit yeah let's do that before shit goes left I got I got I got what I you, got a couple words what you, you got? want it for you yeah just for me bro because Fritz always gets mad because I be testing him now let's see if I could be tested yeah because he be like oh man, you always know I I'm not good at this shit yeah you got you you get don't give tested. me no od words nah you not got od words nigga gave me like fucking the circum like circumference or some shit. Circumference is 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 I. <laughs> is it a PH or an F? Oh, this <laughs> thing is over. It's over for this thing. <laughs> Fuck. This thing just had that. Right. Fuck him it. Go, so go ahead. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start easy. Go ahead. How many words you got? Nigga, I got hella words. Do like do like seven. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Spell. Cabaret. I think it said easy <laughs> cabaret. Right, cabaret. C cabaret. C A B E R E T. Cabaret. Wrong. What is it? C A B A R E T. What is cabaret, Fritz? A restaurant providing food, drink, and music. This motherfucker, bro. Uh, he got me some shit in you France, thought, You bro. thought you had me. Really gave me a, Fr- a French word. All right, bro. Go ahead. What? Spell. All right, all right. Spell eczema. This nigga is tweaking. Eczema. Eczema. Nah, 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 you tweak. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Eczema. 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 Egg. You egg, got eczema? Come egg, on, bro. Egg. Egg. Nah, g- eczema. Eczema. <laughs> Eczema, 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 eczema. That's not gonna make it better, bro. Like, what do you say? Eggs, eggs, eggs. What is eggs? Eggs, like, uh, because I know there's a G in there. Okay. <laughs> there's no G. <laughs> oh my god! I've been saying the word wrong all the time. <laughs> oh my god! No. All right, E X. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nick's is showing, yo, this is showing Darren's <laughs> true colors right now, bro. Ex- you gave me ex- Nigga, I had eczema. You never- I, I had eczema. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, <laughs> never see, you never seen the word before? Like, no. On the TV, maybe commercials. I ain't never watched them eczema commercials. I thought, I, was, I felt bad. Wait, no, I got it though. E S X I T H M A. What the <laughs> fuck did he just say? What did I just E S X. No, wait, there's the G. Say that again. <laughs> wait, go to the mic, nigga. Where the fuck are you going? X, like E E. Okay, E X. I S T H M A. Yo, that nigga is just. <laughs> Eczema, nigga said X is the but like X. Yo, the nigga added letters. I'm baffled. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> um, bro, eczema. How you spell it? Is E C E C Z E E Z. What you? It's, it's E C Z E C Z E M A E C Z E M A. Yes, eczema, eczema, X eczema. Wait, E C Z O eczema. Oh. Eczema, <laughs> niggas said eggs, eczema, <laughs> like eggs, like this I thing is a tweaking, G. bro. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Spell genre. G E N R E. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now spell hysterical. Hysterical. H I S T hyster A. <laughs> I wanted to hold that laugh, but I can't. Wait, H I. No, no, H I S T I. I can't hold the laugh, man. I can't. I keep getting lost. I think I got this. I think I'm dyslexic, cuz. <laughs> No, I, I think so, man. I think so, man. Hysterical. This is OD. Hysterical. His H I S T A R C I A L. Wow. Hysterical C I A L. There is H Y S T E R I C A L. Yo, Darius is not a dumb guy, bro. <laughs> I, 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 like, I'm gonna give you, like, there's three point. 5, 3.6, 3.7 GBA, bro. That nigga smart as hell. Nigga, autocorrect auto carried. That nigga is, is tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Go ahead, go ahead. I feel bad for you even making <laughs> these words right now. <laughs> I'm not even bad. I'm, I'm going to choose other words, bro. No, yeah, go ahead. Keep going, bro. Inferior. Oh, oh my God. Is there is it a PH or F? Yeah. It's over with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say no more. Wait, bro. no. I N F E in fear R I O R. Thank you. Oh, I got it right. Thank you. Woo! Say it again. In I N F E R I O R. Woo! I'm nice. Interfere. I N T E R F E R E. There we go. Okay, we going stupid right now. Hold on, bro. How much was that? That was like maybe like. Eight. You do that. You do that two more. Do I'm gonna do. More. I'm gonna do. Now, nah, now nah, it's gonna. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Archetype. You see. Oh yeah. Archetype. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shout out two K, bro. Yep. A R C H E T Y P E. There we go. Come on, bro. Two K. Last one. Apocalypse. Oh, that. See, I only know this because we talk about apocalypse oh, a lot, shit. and oh, I always yeah. get it wrong though. Oh. A P O C. A L Y P S E. Yeah. I give you one, one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Camouflage. Oh. C A M O F L A U G E. No. Fuck. C A M O U L A G E. Damn, I forgot the U. Fuck. Yeah. All right. You did pretty good, though. You, I, well, you started tweaking. In the like, beginning, he had some hard-ass fucking <laughs> shit. Eczema? Really, nigga? Eczema? Nah. I thought it was tweak- a G. Nah, you two. First of all, this thing is that. I had X, it. 
No, you did. Yes, I did. I had that bitch on my leg, bro. Oh, you had eczema. I had okay. eczema. I thought you said you had it. Like, oh, you no, no, no. To... Nah, this nigga said E X I S T. I didn't know where T came from. I'm going to be honest with Ex- you. I thought, was like, I thought it was silent. Like a th- like a thumb- <laughs> eczema. I thought I was like, I'll give that shit a list. <laughs> eczema. T M A. Yeah, I don't know. That nigga tweet, bro. Eczema, bro. Nigga said eggs. Eggs. <laughs> nigga been saying eczema. But, yeah, I mean, everyone says eczema. Yeah. Like, they say eczema. I got eczema. But yeah, everyone says it like eczema. that. Eczema. But it's eczema. God Ex- damn, eczema. bro. This is, this, eczema. Is, this, is a, this is a damn shame. But you got anything else you want to say to people, bro? Uh, wish him a happy holiday because you didn't even want to wear the holiday shirt. Oh yeah, we, I wish y'all. You know, I got my pants on, my holiday pants on, real comfy. Yo, I wish y'all a good and safe and prospering Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not only that, not only after Christmas to New Year's. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope you guys have a good, merry Christmas and happy New Year's. You know what I'm saying? Because. We in 2024, man. We yeah. only getting older. Yep. But we also need to get better. Wiser. <laughs> you know, wiser. Grow, people. Grow. So so I, I wish y'all a Merry Christmas, you know, a safe Merry Christmas. You guys, whatever y'all doing, go to New York and or do whatever, whatever. Hope y'all stay safe and have get fun. what y'all need and have fun. Have Type fun. shit, bro. From no regulars, bro. Oh, we also... I I didn't tell you we're doing awards, no regulars awards this year. By the end of the year, we got oh, a little awards. Oh, nice! So you guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna put I, on the. I'm winning one. We'll I see. Know. No, ain't no we'll, we'll see. put it on the. We'll put it on the story within the next couple of weeks of like votes, polls, and what you guys want to vote, who gets which award, and things like that. We got most. Well, first we got we're gonna have the most view, most views of the year, fa- most favorite. The <laughs> funniest, and I'm gonna come up with a lot more. So we'll see. It's gonna be around the month. So tune into all that. If you got any more, uh, comment all the stuff down below. If you want a uh, new content or that nature, I can't even think right now. Yeah, oh, new about? new content coming soon. All that good stuff. If you got anything you want to talk, tell us to talk about on the pilot, any topics, you know, DM us, or we'll put polls on Instagram and things of that nature. And uh, yeah. Happy holidays from the no regulars and stay safe and find God, people. Yeah. We different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.